I remember there was a time when we was kings and queens, prophets and rulers, judging the earth. But now we stuck at the bottom of the totem pole. Where did we go wrong as a people? I think our people with the wake up call and give them understanding. So bring it. Early morning, rise up, open your eyes up, look in the mirror, it gets no clearer. Cause we don't understand our own self, drowning in sorrow with empty Hennessy bottles on the shelf, cause everybody wanna be a king, selling out they soul, for this mean green cream thing, paper chasing, but not facing the fact that, as a nation, we all done good, on our shoulders, man, I thought we was YouTube live chat, in between classes, you can call or text that number, or you can call or text Priest Kazakia at 281-707-2737. Uh, you can also correspond with us through email uh, at hidden truth12, that's hidden truth12 at gmail.com. Uh, if you need any custom made garments made, the sisters laid down on the garments, uh, custom made garments, headbands, armbands, and uh, girdles, uh, they'll do that if you go to our Facebook page, Israel Wear, Israel W E A R. And don't forget to join us for kids' class, bring your kids. Uh, get them in front of that TV, that, that laptop, that computer, your phone, whatever. Uh, we're on ISB HPK Kids, and we do kids classes every Sunday from 11 a.m. to noon. That's uh, Houston time, all right? Um, and then if you have any donations, you want to send uh, in any kind of uh, food supplies, uh, clothes, um, anything that you think will help the homeless, send that to any of the school locations, all right? Uh, if it's monetary funds, you could drop that in your local Wells Fargo. Uh, it's account number 101-580-6167. And then, uh, you know, if you have any office supplies or school supplies, pens, notebooks, pads, uh, anything that has to do with uh, the educational process of your people, um, Bibles, Apocrypha, Zondervan, Victoria Bible Dictionaries, uh, the, the book from Babylon to Timbuktu, we can use multiple copies of any of those books. Etymology books, the older the better. Dictionaries, the older the better. The source, the older the better. Uh, history books from any part of the world, the older the better. All right. Um, if you want to donate those, send them to any of the school addresses. That would be beautiful. We would much appreciate that. All right. And uh, this is not for our, my own personal use. It's not for our own personal use. We got our own little library set up in the back of the school and everything. It's kind of small right now, but uh, it's growing. So. Yeah, uh, your donations will help. All right. Uh, does anybody have any questions so far on any topic? We'll open up the first hour of class for questions like we usually do. So if you got them, let's go. All right, nothing from them in class. Let's see if we got any online. Online. I'm just giving that a little lag time for you know whatever questions to come in and people to get that information because that thing still had me just barely talking. So looks like, hey, shalom to y'all, Trinidad and Tobago. Shalom to uh, you in Frederick, Maryland. 
Okay. And uh, well, salam to everybody. So, if there's no questions on any topic, uh, we're gonna go into the topic of classes: microwave Israelites, microwave priests. All right. Uh, because it's a growing epidemic among the Israelite community, especially on Facebook. Everybody's a damn priest on Facebook. Everybody's a scholar, been in the truth one 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 year. Don't want to admit how long they've been in the truth because they've been in so little time. But they all of a sudden they priest and they got answers to all your questions and they they learn from this Facebook page or this this uh, Google page, this Wikipedia site. What a Hebrew Israelite is, and now they got the knowledge. They got the supreme, ultimate knowledge. They learn one scripture, right? They learn that scripture in Psalms. I have surpassed all my teachers. <laughs> and so they, that one scripture makes them surpass all their teachers. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's funny because I, I look at this and I'm like, every time you ask them, how long you been in the truth, man? How long you been teaching? They never want to answer that. You know what I mean? The, the young ones that are talking the stupidest, they never want to answer. The ones that have been in for a while and they should know better, they'll answer you. But then as you look at their answers to questions or you conversate with them, you notice they haven't built any humility. They haven't built it. They haven't conquered their pride. They haven't uh, gained any of the wisdom, the actual application of the knowledge that they're supposed to need. At that age, you understand? So you know it gets to be where you gotta always just hit them with that scripture, like the time you ought to be teachers, you have need to one teach you again, man. Right? Because you, yeah, you should be a teacher. We're all ordained. That's one thing we gotta know. We get that Jeremiah one and verse five, right? Get that real quick, because we all gotta know this. We all got to know, we all are, from the from the womb, as Israelites, we're all ordained to be prophets, all right? We're all ordained to be teachers. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. See, he said before he formed us in the belly, he knew us, right? Okay. He already knew our spirit. He already had, was a well acquainted with our spirit. You all understand? Go ahead. So, he, we've already been known of the Most High. Y'all got to know this and understand it, that we're all prophets. Yes, we're all teachers. We're all mighty wise men of, of Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We're all Israelites, and we're all a nation of kings and priests, right? Uh, we're all that. We all get that. So these young cats, young cats, y'all come in. Y'all gotta know this. We, we know y'all have knowledge, all right. We we know that everyone has knowledge. Why? Because you're an Israelite. You're marked for a reason because you've been sighing and crying because you're not as dumb as the people out there. You, you can't. The wool can't be pulled on, over your eyes no more. You don't believe in no no fat men jumping down your chimney and giving you presents. You don't believe in no little bunnies that run around and magically lay eggs. You don't believe in in uh, in uh, tooth fairies and uh, <laughs> and dressing up for Halloween is is where is how you keep ghosts and goblins away from your house. You understand? Know you grown now. You can buy your own candy. You know what I mean? You ain't got to run house to house begging for it, dressed up like a fool. You you got your own. So that's why the Most High chose you. We get that. You understand? Know but we got to know this. Okay, now, well, read on, read on. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Right, see, before you came out of the womb, he did sanctify you. He set you apart for a holy purpose. You understand? Go ahead. Go ahead. And I ordained thee a prophet. He did what? Ordained thee a prophet. And he told, before you was even up, before, you know, cats was like, well, it don't matter what my age is. Yeah, we know, because... Before he made you a sperm, <laughs> before he made you a zygote and an embryo and a, you know what I mean? She got a little prophet growing in her, you know what I mean? So we all just put our ears to her belly and be getting, getting soaking up this wisdom? <laughs> no, because it's a baby right now, right? Okay, so there's certain things we got to understand that yes, we know 
from the womb, we were all ordained to be prophets. Y'all understand? God. We all got knowledge. Right? But here's the thing. Watch. Read on. God. We, we got to know that, yes, we're all born that way, but... Yeah, ordained the prophet there you to go. the nations. He ordained us a prophet to the nations. We all got wisdom. We all got the calling of prophethood as Israelites. You understand? God. Give me about First Peter two and nine. I think it is. Um, we all know, we all got that. Okay, we're all prophets. We're all this royal priesthood, this holy nation that he called us in uh, Exodus, right? God. Is that it? First Peter, First Peter chapter two verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Come. See, we're a chosen generation. Our the genes that you have in you, the gene ration you have, right, right. is chosen by the Most High. Before you what got in the belly, He had already pulled your spirit out of the whole swirling pool of spirits and said, "You gonna be a prophet." You understand? Right. He already did that. We get this. This is basic to us. For us teachers, for us brothers that know the scriptures, it's basic that yes, you're a prophet in the making. Keyword, in the making. <laughs> you understand? Come. You are not a prophet yet just because at the beginning he ordained you. Because how many prophets done left off of their calling? Y'all see that? Come. That's why I said, judge no man blessed before his death. You're not supposed to judge a man before you know the end of that man. If he died a prophet, okay, that man was a prophet. But not everybody that was born a prophet stayed a prophet. You understand? So not, not all those that were born Israelites stayed Israelites. So we can't just be like, oh, yeah, uh, shoot, uh, yeah, I got some knowledge. Yeah, it don't matter. I, I've been studying. I, I know the truth. I can, uh, he said I surpassed all my teachers by the precepts. Right? Yeah, but that don't mean just because you know a precept, you surpass all your teachers. You understand? God. Why? How do we know that? Go to 1 Corinthians 14, 32. What are you holding right now? What scripture? 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Right? So how do we know? And we're going to hold that scripture and go back to it. How do we know that at the point that we're born, at the point when we first get the scriptures, that that's not the time where we need to be prophets already. That we need to be teachers already. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32. And the spirits of the, pro of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Because the Bible tells us that yes, you're a prophet from birth, right? Uh, he ordained you to be a prophet from birth. But, however, <laughs> your spirit is to be subject unto prophets. Y'all see that? Uh, you as a prophet have to be subject to the prophets. What does that mean to y'all? Come, y'all listen to the prophets. Well, if they're subject to them, they mean they, they over you. Ones with more experience. They over you, they got more experience. What else? Now you learn from the prophets. <laughs> you say you gotta learn from the prophets, all right? What else? Right. And you have somebody to correct you if you stray away. Okay. I'm not playing favorites. She just was raising her hand and then you stopped and then he, she, he talked with me. <laughs> All right. But yeah, you got somebody with more experience, right? That's going to be able to teach you and guide you. So read that again. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 14 and verse 32. Uh huh. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to. To the prophets. Right. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Now, for all these like, huh? Yeah. There you go. You a student to a prophet. See, so for all these like, I learned one scripture and now I'm a teacher. Now I'm a Facebook, YouTube teacher. How do you get past this? How did you get around the fact that you were supposed to be subject to a prophet at least some point in your life? Because I bumped into a lot of them. I'd be like, well, what do you do for the most high? And, oh, uh, uh, 
you know, uh, I teach them, I teach my people, I do this, I do this. I don't really need no camp, though. Well, then how did you get the truth? Oh, well, the Holy Spirit talks to me. So you didn't have no teach. Well, you know, there's one I was talking to. That, oh, I, my father taught me. I said, oh, okay. Well, then who taught him? You know, I'm thinking, like, who taught him? Because he more than likely got it from a camp or an elder. He was at one point subject to another prophet. So why did you veer off of that? Why did you decide that you had a teacher, your father had a teacher, but you don't no longer need a teacher? You no longer need somebody to be around and to exercise these certain scriptures with. How do you exercise the spirit of the prophets? Okay, you're a prophet, got it. Were you ever subject to a prophet? You, okay, you, you, okay. You don't you don't want to do camps. You're you're against camp doctrine. Blah blah blah. Were you ever subject to a prophet? Yeah, they were because before they was in the truth, they were subject to the false prophets. They were subject to the false prophets, right? Church, God, religion, the false educational system. Uh, they mama, they granny, right? They were subject to the po politics and all that. Before they came in the truth, yeah, they were subject to something. They weren't prophets. But they were subject. God. You see that? God. But now when it comes down to, okay, I'm lifting myself up as a prophet, what happened? Okay, now now I got all these reasons why I don't have to be subject to the prophets. But really, because we... But just because... There's so many... It's like I got to read... You have to go through. There's a lot of must be subject to the prophet. You see that? Come on, give me Isaiah chapter 30, verse. I think it's 22. He shall divide the cover. Verse 20. And those. Anymore. Right. Society is going to give you. It's going to be removed. In yeah, I've been through. Through stuff. Uh, right along. Food is right at the core of the only thing that tastes like actual food. So you got that, you get a little brownie, right? The TV dinners, right? What kind of priests are being raised. Y'all see that? Then they look on whatever Bible you You got your own books. Wycliffe and got that from Calvin and all these other white men. What the hell are you talking about? Your commentary was written by the white man, but then but then when you corner them into when you get them into a corner, oh yeah, you got that from the white Bible. And elders and teachers, it was filtered and processed. Y'all see that? Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm really passionate about this because we get tired of these. We get tired of microwave Israelites, man. Microwave priests. When you come in and you finally get some fringes sewn onto your onto your shirt and sewn down the side of your pants, and your beard grows out a little bit or your fro grows out a little bit, or for a sister, you get the nice hand covering, right? And you, and you and you talking a little softer than you used to. That doesn't make you a teacher. You understand? I don't care if men or women. All right. And I'm not talking about myself or not a woman to teach. Get your mind out the gutter with that. That scripture was to put order in the church. Y'all gonna teach your kids. 
you go teach out there in the world. You gonna teach them. So I'm digressing right here, but y'all sisters gonna be teaching when y'all out in the streets and stuff like that. Talk about why you in the church, why you amongst the brethren. It's a male teacher, so you don't need to jump up and start teaching. Y'all see that? God. That's why he said, but to keep silence in the church. Y'all talk as much as y'all want out there, please. You know what I'm saying? We wish everybody was a prophet. Like Moses said, right? Which they all had this spirit like that. But in the church is where y'all to keep silent so far as teaching is concerned. When we ask questions, speak. All right? God. See, we know the scripture, so we know that that don't just mean y'all women need to shut the hell up. That's what a seasoned teacher knows. That's what a person that reads the Bible and actually understands it and been through much experience in building churches, building camps, building brothers and sisters. They understand these things, that there's a place for everything. Y'all see that? Come. It comes through experience and knowledge. It comes through trials and tribulations. Y'all see that? Come. And it mostly comes when you get to the teaching level, it came because you were at one point for a long time subject to other prophets. Y'all see that? Come. So we a prophet from birth, according to Jeremiah 1 and 5, right? We know this, but it takes time to become teachers. Y'all see that? God. It takes time to where you want to get to that level. Go to Galatians 4 and 1. Did you finish 1 Peter 2 and 9? Uh, Read that. Come, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. See, and you are a chosen generation. It's about every single. I'm mad at you because you went profit in your pocket for that's a prayer. If I'm not mistaken. There you go. Yeah. Six and They give testimony has and raise up prophets. Raise up what? Prophets. We yeah. pray them in. We know you're prophets. We get it. Y'all understand? Oh, yeah. We know it. Even y'all sisters. There are there are women prophets. Us that was a prophet, right? Uh, Phoebe. Prophet. Prophetess, right? Prophetess, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Female version of prophet. <laughs> mm -hmm. We know these things. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? So we don't, we're not discriminating and saying, oh, yeah, you can't do this. You can't. No. Right. You understand? Right. We're not going to put you on the street corner and have you yell at the people because we don't want y'all getting beaten upside the head with a rock. We love our queens, princesses. princesses. You understand? <laughs> we love them. We don't want them in danger like we do. Y'all see that? Come. But we know y'all prophetesses. We know y'all brother's prophets. You understand? Come. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, man. Is it 1 Corinthians? Read that. Read the rest of where you're at. Come. Then go back to 1 Peter 2 and 9. Like I said, I got so many scriptures, man. I'm going to need brothers to be pulling. All right? Come. And then hold Galatians 4 and 1. <laughs> it says, And holy nation, a peculiar, a, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. See? So we're, we know that y'all are prophets. We know that from, from a young age that you were a holy nation. If you were born an Israelite, we know you're made to be a holy nation, a royal priesthood. Y'all see that? God. We're a nation of kings and priests. Well, you don't have a nation without women, right? God. So there's men and women that are going to be now priests now, right? But how? In what capacity? You understand? You're going to have the priestly mentality. Us men are Yes, you are. All right. So you have to. Uh, let me get. Galatians chapter four. Five. Uh, the whole day I couldn't get it. I was like, damn, I done beat the Pharisee thing to death, and 
and, and the hypocrites and all that. I don't beat that to death over many classes, right? Oh. But to, all of a sudden, it just the floodgates open. Now it's time to bring it out. Read that. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant. Though, Does anybody understand what, what he's saying right there? Kinda. Who can tell me? He said, kind of, what you got? Like, <clears throat> like, okay, first he says that the heir. So that means this person is of a high rank or of a high authority, but you act like a child. So you're going to have to be built up from a child and into something greater? Mm, not quite. That last part, yes, but not, not quite. What's that? That the heir of the individual is, 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 isn't different from his regular servant. The only difference is that he's a child. Not quite. What you got? I believe uh, he, he's, uh, he, he has an inheritance coming to him. He has a right to the inheritance coming to him, but he's not going to get it. He's not different from that servant until uh, the one that he's received an heir from pass away, then he becomes. Uh, Very close. Okay. Yeah. That's mostly on point right, right. there, right? Mm -hmm. So, read it again. <clears throat> Galatians chapter 4 and verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child. So, it's just, this is an heir. And as long as he's a what? Child. child. Right. So, he, this is a child heir, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So, this is a person that's going to receive an inheritance. That's what an heir is. Yes. He's going to receive something from his father when he dies or when he gets to a certain age. The father's gonna say, hey, I got your trust fund set up here, you know what I mean? Or uh, like the rich, the yeah. not the rich man, the prodigal son, he came to his father yeah. and said, Let me get my inheritance now. Right? Yes. Then he went and squandered it. Mm -hmm. Right? So the heir, as long as he's a child, go ahead. Different nothing from a servant. Now, why is he telling you this? Why is he telling you that the heir, as long as he's a child, he's the same as a servant? What's that? you like the experience of it there. There you go. Because there's he's not going to do what the in what the uh what do they call it? <laughs> what the uh the person that's going to manage it correctly. He's gonna manage it like a child. You understand? He's like, hey uh I'm gonna give you a million dollars. That'll buy me and a million dollars. You know you like it. No! To a child. It's an heir. Because that's what person, this child, be all the servants. He's going to be the owner and he is the servant. How to do things. Oh, and, um, and from. Was 12 years old. Hard to figure over there. Twelve. Yeah, you got. They, they, they were hard head. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and so people had back. Right. But the people in the. I took some pictures. When the toy, the multiple, you got a, 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 you know, you got and all this, right, right by the, you got a mirror, and nobody, this stuff, I got here, and people that say they are, right, the community, the Lord, why, in the black community. And all that people on these boys, reason though they get it right, man. So, yeah, yeah, young folks get caught, yeah, you know, he's yeah, microwave, yeah. Billy. Yeah, there's yeah. no, yeah. Oh, whoa, we learned it off. 
accountability. No, well, you see this going on. You don't see it going on over there. Oh, he for us. You. Because what they still. So and that's oh, again that's the topic of this class is yes. that we're having these father followers yes. they're yes. gaining followers why because those people know that that leader he was right. never it's there but it's not yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? so I, i'm bringing it back to it you know what i mean but read that uh where we were at enough uh, is it Galatians? Galatians chapter four, verse one. Yeah, yeah. Everything's his, cool. But until he get to a certain age, until he get to that that time where he can inherit and be trusted with the inheritance, not to squander it off and trick it off on toys. You understand? He's under what? Tutors. He's under tutors. Y'all see that? People that are going to teach him and guide him and show him what this means, what that means. This is what money does. This is how you use it. You understand? God. And and what else is he under? And governors. And what? Governors. People that tell him what to do. Y'all see that? God. Oh, that's that's where Israel flakes off. I don't, I don't need nobody telling me what to do. I start my own camp and do what with it? You don't want nobody telling you what to do. But you gonna start a camp where you telling other people what to do? Brother, get that sign. Nah, you can't tell me nothing. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's all you gonna get. Why? Because you're a damn microwave prophet, man. You're a preacher. Y'all see that? Government. To learn how to be governed. How much college did you get? Why do they want to know your college and your education? We want to know how many tutors you had. How many times you said, yes, sir, let's do it that way. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm with that. Okay. Right? How long did you follow before we make you the leader? Now, they do it in the world, but in Israel, we supposed to just make you a teacher? You a four-star general? You a, you know what I mean? You walking around, I'm, I'm commanding general so-and-so. If you ain't with me, you ain't in the truth. How long you been in the truth? I just learned it off YouTube. <laughs> What tribe are you? I don't know. What? Where are you? <laughs> well, I don't know tribe at, right? Yeah, like, you ain't an Israelite. You ain't even an Israelite yet, man. Y'all see that? Until you've been under tutors and governors, you don't get no inheritance in Israel yet. Y'all see that? Yeah, we know you came in and you you got knowledge, right? Did y'all read that? Did we go there First 1 Corinthians? Uh, Hold that Galatians, man. I should have jumped there first. Go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 81. Come on, 8 verse 1. The middle no. of y'all got it. Uh, uh, come. come. Now as touching things offered unto the idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffed it up, but charity edified. See that? We all, we know we teachers, we elders, we know that y'all all got knowledge. You understand? God. If you came to this class, it's because you had amassed and accrued a certain amount of knowledge already. You understand? God. But why did, if you had if you had gotten the supreme knowledge from my magical voice coming through the YouTube, or Kazakh's magical voice coming through the five minutes of wisdom. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? You got the five minutes of wisdom. Now you're a Hebrew Israelite and you're able to lead already? No. You understand? If you got that knowledge that way, now it's time for you to be under tutors and governors. Y'all see that? Because we know you got knowledge. We probably gave it to you. Or somebody related to us gave it to you. Y'all see that? Some elder we know, some some YouTube Israelite, some brother uh, that was putting his shows and his uh, his uh, street teachings and everything on uh, on YouTube and Facebook probably gave you the knowledge. So we know you got knowledge. That's what brings you in our door. You gotta at least know where it's at, right? 
We know you got knowledge. We know y'all sisters got knowledge. We know brothers got knowledge. Y'all understand? Come. Read on. Come. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. Knowledge puffeth up. Y'all understand that? Come. What's that mean? It makes you know everything. Pride. It makes you what? Pride, bro. Pride, thing, you know. Pride. makes you act like you know everything. Big head, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see that? And this is where you end up with the problem of the Pharisees, and we're going to go to a, a few scriptures about them. But that's where you end up with the problem that the Pharisees had. They had knowledge, but it had puffed them up. You understand? Come. Knowledge puffeth up. Knowledge gets you a big head. Can't nobody tell you nothing and all this stuff, but what did it say? Charity does what? Edify it. Charity edify it. If you really got love for your people, you'll teach them. You'll learn and you'll study to teach. Y'all see that? Uh, you ask like Solomon did. Solomon was Lord of all, literally. But he asked for the wisdom to be able to guide his people. Y'all see that? Uh, That's charity. You got a lot of these microwave Israelites who won't even have a charity. Like, oh, okay, well, where are your congregation at? I don't have one. I don't need no congregation. But you teach it on Facebook. That's a congregation. It's a bunch of people getting together electronically with no accountability and you proclaiming that you teaching them. You know what I mean? I see it all the time. They be asking their little quiz questions. Then you answer it. And they, no, that's wrong. That ain't it. The hell you asked me for? Why you didn't just tell me? Well, I was just trying to see if you knew. Okay, if you're trying to see if I knew, then teach. What Teach what you know. I'm going to come to your house. And you're going to teach me. <laughs> do we get to do that with them? No. Nah. That's why anytime they, you know, they want to really go to war with me, when they, when they bickering and fighting it, I post an address. I'll be like, come, come to the school. Come on. I ain't seen not one of them yet. <laughs> they never came through and said, okay, we're going to do this debate here in your face. Like, why didn't you come to the school? Teach me. And when they invite to debate, show me. So that way, when I'm having trouble with my rib, you my teacher. When I'm having trouble with, with how I pay my bills, you my teacher. Answer that phone when I'm up at 2 in the morning, can't sleep. Tossing and turning, got problems, got issues. Need some help, getting tempted. Be there. Why you don't post your phone number and your address like I do? Y'all see that? You never see that on Facebook. You'll rarely ever see it. And usually if you do see it, it's a teacher that do that. A real one. They've been through some things. Otherwise, you just got knowledge and you're puffed up by it. Otherwise, you're following with somebody that got knowledge and they puffed up by it. You got to watch out for being a person that, yeah, man, you know, I know how to study just like you. Of course you do because I taught you. I trained you how to study like that, right? Hey, look, uh, yeah, if you go to Zonder Bad, who taught you to go to Zonder Bad? Who taught you how to say Zonder Bad? <laughs> you were stuttering on the Z when I met you, man. <laughs> you bought your Zonder Bad on Amazon. Ain't even cracked the cover but one or two times, and now all of a sudden you tell me if I go to the Zonder Bad, I'm going to find it. Oh, and if you go to the Strong's Exhausted, nigga, do you even speak Hebrew? Do the Our Father prayer real quick, and then I'll take your word for it. I don't care which Hebrew. If you, if you say the Paleo Hebrew, we made it up in this gibberish. Okay, do it in, do it in uh, Yiddish. Hmm. You know what I mean? Do it in modern Hebrew. Do it in something, man. Kuneafor, I don't give a damn. Just do it. Well, uh, uh, I don't, okay, well, you ain't got that. How you a teacher? Y'all see that? Why go to the Strong's, which we taught you how to use, and you don't know Hebrew? Now, I'm using certain examples that some of y'all will understand, some of y'all won't. All right? My Facebook people, y'all know about these people. All right? YouTube cats, y'all know about these people. You see them in the comment section. Always got something to say, but they never got their own page. <laughs> all right? We got that all, all day on that Adam and Eve was not alone. That's off. Y'all y'all niggas wicked. Go to, their, go to their YouTube page. No videos. 
Go to their YouTube page. Where are your school at? No address. <laughs> well, if I'm wrong, show me. Y'all see that? So you get that all through the internet, but now we're getting it where you have brothers and sisters start coming in class. Now all of a sudden, they instead of learning, they challenge. Y'all see that? Instead of learning, well, this scripture said this, so I'm doing it like this. But it don't even mean that. Look, read, read like we did the other day, right? Read up. <laughs> that ain't to you. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with you. Y'all see that? Yeah, you, you bring a confusion. Why? Because you ain't had a teacher. Somebody that already lipped off to his teacher and got sat the hell down and said, look, go to this scripture, man. Now read up from where you at. You see that? How did I know to tell you to read up? Because I got told the same damn thing when I was an idiot like that. <laughs> Y'all see that? That's why I go to Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. And I'm jumping around, stopping all through my class. But like I said, I got to go where, where the Spirit's leading it. So read that Ecclesiastes 8 verse 8. Call Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 8. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. See, miss not the discourse of the wise. Don't miss the things that the wise people have to say. But acquaint yourself with proverbs. Not come in with what with your understanding, as Proverbs three and five say, right? God. Trust in the most high with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. That's what that tells you, right? There's a way to see the right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Uh Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. Or, or uh 55 verse 8 and 9. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Yeah. I lost that one. No, as I say, I'm just making, I'm, I want to make sure I give it to y'all right, man, because like I said, scriptures are flying through my brain like crazy. Yeah, 55 verse 8 and 9. There we go. Let me highlight that. 55 and 9? Yeah, 55 verse 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Y'all see that? So, we learn from the Most High because His ways aren't our ways. He, we gonna learn some stuff that, damn, I never really looked at it like that before. Y'all understand? Uh, There's a lot of things I was like, what? There's female angels? Yeah. My preacher never told me that. Hey. A lot of my elders hadn't even told me that. And one elder was like, yeah, yeah, there's female angels. Man, go to Zechariah 5, verse 9. Oh, oh damn, there it is right there. Try to show one of these YouTube lights, Facebook lights that. No, yes. oh, that don't mean those are women angels. That was a vision. If you knew how to read, you would see that it was a vision. Okay, nigga, well, in the vision, he saw some flying women. What the hell do you call them? What do you call flying humanoids? <laughs> the angels, right? Cool. You see something with wings and you know it's a female as opposed to a male. How many birds you see and you already know? Oh, that's a girl. That's a girl bird. <laughs> that's a male stork. As it flies through the air. What, is ding -ling hanging out? No. You don't know the, 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 uh, the gender, right? But this man seen the angels. He saw these two women flying with wings. He was able to identify them as women. They must have been humanoid, right? Okay. Well, they women, and they got wings. They must be angels, unless the scriptures document any other type of human with wings, right? Um, but see, this is something I didn't know. Then the elder showed me, and the and the Most High taught me through His Word. Y'all see that? Um, I looked at it for myself, and damn, lo and behold, there's women angels. But you try to show these cats something new, and they're puffed up in their own knowledge. Y'all see that? Cats get pumped up in their own knowledge. There's a lot of things, subjects we've been going over that is just like, no, that ain't right for all of y'all, right? Uh, it don't matter what women, multiple wives, right? Damn, no, uh, uh, virgin birth. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all already seen the arguments, right? Yeah. Every time we bring them up, it's no, <laughs> no, that is you the devil. You know, <laughs> Adam and Eve weren't alone. You, you know, they start hyperventilating, beatboxing all at the same time. You're like, God damn. It's just the Bible. 
Y'all see that? Come. Why? Because that knowledge, they got puffed up in another kind of knowledge, another kind of doctrine. And they never got sat down and just showed them the word. Y'all see that? Come. Some of y'all suffering from, uh, what's that disease? Uh, Mandela effect? <laughs> y'all swear it was in the Bible, then you, okay, well, look for it. Let's find it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it I know it's in there. Well, I got a concordance. So let's punch the word in. Let's punch in any word from what you just said. Let, let, let's find God loves everybody in the Bible. All right. <laughs> right. Yeah, unconditional love. I love that one. Yeah, I'm like, where, where do you see that? All love got conditions. See that? Listen, baby. Don't cheat on me. What is that? Condition. Right? Look, I love you. I give you the world. I give you the moon, the stars, right? But don't cheat on me. <laughs> That's a condition. Where you get unconditional love from? It's a cliche. It's not scripture. Y'all see that? But what? You get puffed up in your mind on that worldly knowledge, and what happens? Now nobody can tell you anything. And some of it you swear is in the Bible. You swear it was biblical. Y'all see that? We got to know that while you're in air, while we know you're in air, while we know that you all have knowledge, don't let it puff you up. You understand? At the level y'all are at, be under your tutors. Be under teachers. Be under governors. You understand? Because any man, anybody, any human, any man, woman, whatever, that don't have government, don't have a father, mother, don't have a teacher, you're a bastard. The scriptures say, without correction, you a bastard, right? That's right. Uh, What's that? I have one here too. Uh, what you know, got? About, about the female angels. Yeah. Here in Mark uh, 12, 25, it was actually uh, about where 24 said, Jesus actually said unto them, Do ye not therefore err because ye know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? Uh, yeah, he said, for when they shall arrive from the dead, they need to marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the... Now, I remember using that way back, and I forgot. This is again, see that? I heard it a couple weeks ago, about all... Angels, though. Because, what, because they... Nah, they're female, but they don't do that. They grew up there having sex. <laughs> the most higher 10,000 times. Right. We're gonna do that. Come on, man. But you know, that, like I said, that's another subject too, but we got to understand that type of knowledge that'll puff somebody up. You understand? Uh, the doctrines, you know what I mean? Like I said, we go through immaculate conception all the time, and you know, people swear they know she, her hymen was intact when Christ was born, and all that. I'm like, okay, dude, even if if it was intact, that would have been the most painful birth in the world. You understand? Because he still came out blood and water, right? He still came out of that. They still said that's his mother, at least. So. That would have been the most, he, he wouldn't have made it out. <laughs> that hyphen would have blocked him off for a good couple hours. Right? See, but these are things you tell somebody, oh, you're just being carnal. No, I'm being realistic. Like the Bible is, it's realistic. Right. It's going to tell you that, yeah, obviously the hymen was out of the way at that point. <laughs> you see that? Because the babies came out. Even if you if you believe it was immaculately conceived, how did it just come out? It just moved that out the way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is doctrine that been pumped in people's heads, and it gave and it gave them knowledge. That's why they always know the scripture, right? Oh well, go go to go to Luke and go to go to Mark. Look, before they came together, they know the scripture, and we know you know you got this. We know you got the scripture. We already know it when you say it. When you disagree, we're like, they got the scripture. Why? Because you're all prophets. You were all ordained before the womb that you were going to be prophets. 
You're Israelites. You're a nation of kings and priests. We know. But until you get your kingdom, you're under what? Tutors. Tutors. Governors. Y'all see that? Until you get, until the Most High says, okay, you know what? We're going to put you in this position. We'll do it with sisters too, man. Hey, sis, we need you to travel out there to San Antonio, go rap with these sisters, man, you know, stuff like that, and show them some things. We do that with, with some of these older sisters, man. Y'all sisters got something to strive for. You know, they come in and, oh, well, y'all don't have rank for us. And Yeah, we, we kind of do. <laughs> you understand? We got a sister. My, my rib goes out there to San Antonio, and they she shows, shows them some aspects of sewing or whatever. She gets to share knowledge with these sisters that have been around for 20, 30 years. Y'all see that? So why she not gets to go out? She goes out there, and she, and she be texting and, and going through some of their issues and problems for these younger sisters they got all the way out there. But, and the ones that are here. You see that? Because what? Some sisters don't want to open up to no man about certain things. You understand? They don't want to do that. There is a kind of a rank in there. But you got to be under tutors. Now, you got to be under tutors. You got to be under What's that, sis? I have a question back to Galatians 4 and 2. Yeah, we're going to go back. So let's do it. Question, though. Uh, my question is, what is the role of the tutors in the Well, let's see. Verse three. In bondage, the elements of the world. People or his big price, or he was saying he was talking about spiritual fathers, right? So until the title pointed to your fathers, officer, man, you need to be up on this podium. You need to be teaching. Take your test, right? We let y'all know, right? God. You get it. Taking that test. Do this. Do that. So you can advance, right? So you can step into this arena and we want you to teach. You've seen it many times. The brother be sitting there right next to you. Make sure you know you see him sitting up here next to me, right? God. Why? Because there was a time appointed by the fathers, by the ones that taught him. Y'all see that? God. Read on. But when the fullness of the time was come. The fullness of what? Come. Read it again. But when the fullness of the time was come. When the fullness of the time is come. This is when you're going to start to be teachers and leaders and, 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 and uh, generals and all this stuff. When years time has passed. You see that? Come. This is the problem we got with these microwave prophets, man. They don't take the fullness of the time. They microwave they, they, their education. That's why these holes all through their doctrine. And we'll go... This is a lot more scriptures to go to. <laughs> Read on. The Most High sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. So that when the fullness of the time was come for these heirs to be prophets, right? Now at that time, and what, what he's doing is kind of jumping back and showing you how the apostles came up, right? They were all heirs, but they was just being fishermen. They was just being this and being that. And he was teaching them for their own way of how they were going to fish for men, right? Or the tax collector. He was going to be able to identify and deal with men. The Most High raised them up under tutors and prophets in his arena, right? Until the fullness of the time came. And then the Most High sent Christ, right? Born of a woman, right? What did it say? God, it says, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Uh oh. There's your immaculate conception scripture right there. That kills that. He was made after the law, all right? So he was made by a man and a woman who were married. <laughs> all right? Oh. Uh, so the Most High sent forth his son, born of a woman, made after the law, read. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. See? In order that you can receive the adoption of sons. You get it? The, the whole point is that he sent his son so you can learn from him. And now you can be adopted back as sons that he can put under tutors and governors. You understand? God. You wouldn't have that opportunity without Christ. 
Without Christ, as soon as you did your little kid mistake, get out of my face. You gone. You see that? Gone. Open up third swally. You gone. But because of Christ, now you have the opportunity to be that heir again. And while you're an heir, while you're a child heir, you're going to be under governors and tutors. Gone. That makes sense? Gone. Help me out. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going to keep reading. I'm just making sure you got that part, you know, because I'm going to keep having to keep going. But read on. God, and because ye are sons, the Most High has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. See, your sons, this is what this is what we as teachers understand. Because where do we get this understanding? From the, from the precepts, from this scripture. We understand that you're all sons of God. You're all prophets. You're all preachers and priests and priestesses right we understand this why because he said you're all sons y'all see that God. you're all the the child heirs read God crying Abba father and the most high put his spirit in you he put the spirit of Christ in you God. you understand but he put the spirit of Christ in a child it was not Christ under tutors and governors did he not have a mother and father? God. Right. Read. Verse 7. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant. See? So now, when he puts that, when he puts the Holy Spirit in you, right? How does he put the Holy Spirit in you? In your heart. Huh? In your heart. How does he get in your heart? Through time. Through time? Okay. Time doing what? Time reading the scriptures. What else? Under tutors and governors. Your time under tutors and governors. You see that? Oh. That's how this. That's how everything gets in your brain. Somebody teaches you. <laughs> I'm making it too easy, right? Oh. Yeah, it gets in your brain, not through osmosis. You don't just. Oh. Yeah, man. It's not the Matrix. They just like plug it into like a cassette tape. But you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, you just spit all the knowledge of the Bible. You're not a Teddy Ruxpin, for those of y'all that are old enough to remember that. <laughs> remember Teddy Ruxpin? Oh. You put the little cassette tape in there, and then the little bear starts talking. I love you. You're my best friend. Whatever, right? That ain't how the Bible works. You got to be taught for it to get in your brain. Y'all see that? Oh. What's that? I was just at the brother video this morning. I was Holding this morning, I was studying it up. <clears throat> they had these crooked pastors on there. Right. And they had this one pastor. He was, it sounded like he was African descent or something, man. He was, they had a large congregation out there. And he was throwing his hand out there and people just falling back. He was hollering, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. What's this brother video, man? I mean, these people is, they is something, man. He probably got like a million views yeah, on yelling, man. Holy Ghost. <laughs> man, he was throwing his hand like he was walking on praying. And, Whole bunch of people over here just falling back. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do it over here. He was just hiding. Holy Ghost. Holy <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> That's <laughs> right here. That's pathetic, man. Yeah, they out there. They got all kinds of stuff going on. But see, our people love that. You yeah. know why? Because yeah. he ain't saying, You got a lust demon. No. You a, no. you a damn liar. No. No. You need to repent. No. He ain't doing none of that. <laughs> no. No. So they, oh, I like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good preacher. Yeah. I got I got goosebumps. I got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. No, you didn't. You got a spirit. You got a damn demon on you, and it likes being around that other demon. He ain't said nothing about the no scripture about keeping the commandments of remember the Sabbath. He ain't quoted nothing out the Bible. Yeah. He's just doing his hill, and you got hundreds of people just falling back, and he's saying, Holy Ghost. That's all he said. He ain't said nothing about it. Get your life together. Yeah, I love Church those. Uh, the, 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 uh, the zeal, what do they call those, man? They, they do the... Uh, with the, with they, the revivalist preachers and yeah, the ones that yeah. travel and they do all that, and they yeah. swing and they coat around, knocking out a whole audience yeah. and everything, yeah. and they never got a Bible, at least in one hand. One guy called, uh, <laughs> this guy, one guy called in, man, his wife was sitting there, and the guy elbow was hurting. He said, he said, what, he said, what can I do? I'm hurting the man. So the man over there probably, he said, he said, uh, brother, uh, 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 did, did, did you get one of the, the handkerchiefs? And his wife was sitting there with him, and the guy said, no, I didn't get there. He said, well, well, I need you to believe in me. He said, stretch it, just stretch your elbows out. 
the slang of my slang of me started speaking to Charles, you know what he called Charles. Right, right. And I, I started messing up the yard. They cut him off. They cut him off. All right, cut. Next. <laughs> what, what a girl with the, with the short leg. Let's get her back up here. Let's make that grow back again. But I think they made him up the yard. They cut him off, man. <laughs> right? Cut to commercial. We'll be back after these messages. What happened? Why? But then, you know, that's another topic, too, is, you know, these false preachers and everything. Yeah. But the, the, what we have to address, man, is this, again, epidemic, this illness, this sickness that's going through Israel where we got these microwave preachers, yeah. Yeah. microwave yeah. prophets. Yeah. And it's, it, it takes time. That's why I said at the point in time, y'all see that? Mm-hmm. When the time, when the fullness of the time came, yeah. the Most High sent forth his son. That's right. When the fullness of the time comes, he'll give you the right spirit. Right. He'll give you the spirit. How? By you going through tribulations and trials and you advancing, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, and then next thing you know, as you overcome, yeah. you start gaining the spirit of Christ on you mm-hmm. through experience. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. That's the only way it comes. That's right. All right? That's why I said Christ was tempted in all matter we are tempted in. That means he had experience. So he could teach you how not to sin because he been through it. Y'all see that? Come. But a lot of these cats, man, is like, where did you even come from? You you got the the Israel name and the <laughs> the uh the the Ben so and so and you yeah. this and that and you still speak in this Assyrian tongue and all that. But you you put that on yourself. You gave yourself your own name. Gave yourself your own rank. Like how you how you officer ten thousand? You sitting in your living room. <laughs> You're doing YouTube videos alone. <laughs> you ain't got an audience. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. They, they do this stuff, man, because why? Mm-hmm. Knowledge has puffed them up. Mm-hmm. All right? This is what makes a Facebook Israelite. Well, I love that he used the word puffeth up. This is what makes a microwave Israelite. Because what, what happens with microwave popcorn? You throw it in there, you beep. Right? Some of y'all got the button that just says popcorn, right? You ain't even got to hit for three minutes. You just beep, right? Starts getting puffed up, right? That little bag puffs up, right? And that's what we got. We got mic- microwave profits, like microwave popcorn, man. You know what I mean? All they do is hit a button on their YouTube. Boop. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, let me highlight that. Okay, all right. Take these notes, all right. I'm a prophet. That's what they get this. That's what they get this. <laughs> right there. Yeah. I watch them, man. I watch them all over the place. It's funny. Y'all see that? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's out there, and they'll get you, too, because yeah. you'll swear they got knowledge. Yeah. But you'll never see them in a class. You'll never see them, in, you'll never see them come up against the elders they talk against. Yes. Right? Like, dude, the elder's still alive. Why are you talking to him? Why are you glad about them on Facebook? Mm-hmm. Go to the elder. Mm-hmm. You didn't like him? Scripture said go to that man. Oh, you don't know that scripture? Yes. But you're an elder. <laughs> you you are you a general. You a microwave prophet, man. Puffed up. See that? Three three minutes. That's all it took to puff you up. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at? Gone. Uh, Galatians chapter four verse seven. Uh-huh. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. See when the fullness of the time comes and he puts the spirit of Christ in you, by you what walking in Christ's footsteps. And then you learn and get the experience of Christ, right? Then you you are no longer a servant. You're no longer having to be under tutors and governors. And who decides that? Your tutors and governors. They're like, look, I done taught you. That goes everywhere else. That's what, I'm sorry, I can't finish the sentence, man. It's just so maddening. It's like everywhere else, you're under tutors and governors until they say it's time to go to the next level. But when you come to the truth is, no, the Holy Spirit made me surpass you. You didn't say that in first grade. You were like, teach, teach. I'm not, I don't think I should be here. I think I should be in fifth grade. Matter of fact, I'm going to go down the hall, Ms. Johnson, and uh, I'm going to be in fifth grade. You didn't do that in school. You waited till the end of the damn year, and when May came around and they said, hey, you got... You got all E's on your report card, right? 
Yeah, you got all you got all A's on your report card. Now you get to go to the eighth grade. You waited, right? When you come to truth, then okay, it's time. What? What? Time for what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a teacher, man. I'm gonna go out and street teach. I laminated me some signs. I uh, I got I got a, a page worth of scriptures that I stole from Zabak online, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go out street teach now. It looks easy enough. I seen it done a million times, right? This ain't that kind of world, man. Go to James three and one. Hold where you at. That's the same they do in speaking in tongues, brother. They yell about it and they can mimic that. Yeah. Because all supposed to you have an interpreter, you have an interpreter say, be quiet. Yeah. But you got people battling all over the place. Yeah, I know I know that it's not speaking in tongues yeah. because you always hear them saying the same damn thing. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? If their preacher be like, show me love, 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 About 10 years later, they yeah. pop up talking about, show me love, 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 love. You just said the same damn thing he said, and it right. didn't make sense then either. That's right. You were sitting there like, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell does that mean? Without, what I mean? inter- without interpreting. Yeah, then you go to the other pastor and he, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, everything out of old with you like, <laughs> okay, all right. About five years later, Sister Betty, the, there was a hole when she came in, it's still a hole now, talking about, ho, what's up, what's up, what's everything out of old with you like, no, ho, sit down. <laughs> like, you know, the, you got too many O's in your name already. <laughs> you already got too many O's in your title. You ain't even sit down. You ain't speaking nothing but what he said five years ago. Y'all see that? I know that because I was raised in church. I was raised from two years old to 18 in those churches, man. Various different ones. But it, yeah, it, you know, you basically just saying what the pastor said. You saying what you heard somebody else say. You right. thought it sounded right. Oh, that's so cool. Well, yeah. expound. Tell me some more of this language. Yeah. A prime <laughs> example was his name with the sign of the saucer. Yeah. They tried to pay for the gift that they were using. They told your money to pay with you. That's really the only now. That's a perfect one, man. Yeah. Simon the, yeah. the magician, the yeah. magi, right? Yeah. He wanted to buy the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He wanted to be a microwave Israelite. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. He wanted to be a microwave prophet. So that goes to show you perfect example. We always dealt with this. Yes. Y'all see that? Yeah. It's got, when's it going to change? When the hell are, is Israel going to grow up? The fullness of the time has come. The Most High done sent Christ. He done sent the Holy Spirit to teach you. When the hell are we going to grow up and see, oh, damn, I'm being Simon the Magi right now. I'm acting like I can buy it just because I got YouTube Red for $10 a month. <laughs> it plays in the background while I play video games. So, yeah, I, I be listening to y'all street teachings because, yeah, so I know just as much as y'all. No, you don't. This stuff we say on that little 30 minutes of street teaching. That is a portion of what you get in class. That's right. <laughs> I might sit out there street teaching all, for 30 minutes on maybe two scriptures. And in class, you, you get the whole class. It'd be like a whole page of scriptures. How many we've been through already? <laughs> because they just keep coming. Uh-huh. Y'all see that? 13. Like 13 scriptures, right? That's just off the dome. I ain't even turned on the note. Uh, app in my damn phone so I can look at the notes that we're supposed to be going through. <laughs> we ain't even hit my class yet. <laughs> Y'all got 13 scriptures on microwave prophets. But the microwave prophets will go off them 13 scriptures and never get the class and act like they masters in Israel. Y'all see that? Cool. You have to watch out for these because the scriptures tell you these people will deceive the very elect. And we're going to go through we're going to go through this now. Uh, did you finish? Uh, James. Yeah. James chapter three, verse one. Uh huh. James chapter three, verse one. My brother, be not ma- ma- be not many mad. Salah. Come on. My brother, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. So we're at James three and one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, be not many masters. And we keep begging y'all this, man. Especially y'all on, on YouTube. Am I moved over wrong? Especially y'all on YouTube. And I talk directly to the camera, right? <laughs> y'all cats on YouTube and Facebook, all right? Be not many masters, all right? This takes a lot of work. And I'm not saying it because I'm up here. I'm saying it because you looking at Christ and you look at his life 
You have to decide, do I want to go that far for the most high? We decided that. We said we're going to do that. If you nail me to a cross right now, well, I'm going to probably cry a little bit, but I'm going to die teaching. Y'all see that? We're ready to go. We already prepared in our mind to do that. You got to decide that before you start going out there trying to Facebook teach and YouTube teach and do all that and try to guide households and do all this stuff. You got to decide you was ready to take it that far. Then you got to be proven by the spirit, by the situations Christ put you through to know that you're going to stick to that. You can't be the one that like, oh, times got tough. I'm back at home uh, selling, flipping burgers. You know what I mean? I'm back at McDonald's flipping burgers because times got hard and I couldn't roll with, with Israel. Had to make this money. No. You have to have done all and stand. Uh, my girl got pregnant. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I sent her to the abortion clinic, and uh, I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing YouTube videos no more. What? What the hell is that? Well, it just looked too tough. I was watching these other YouTube videos, and all these other, all these niggas look like they scared of, of having a baby, so I, I don't want to deal with that. It looks spooky. You can't learn all your life off of YouTube, man. You can't learn all your life off Facebook. You understand? You got to be Hebrews 10 and 25. You got to forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. You have to be under brothers that have been through things that can give you wisdom. You can try them. Come in, ask them a question. What should I do? They tell you with patience and understanding? Or do they be like, man, get the hell up out of here. I don't know. Shoot, go. You better call somebody. Pray. That's it? Everything's just pray. I got, I got bills paid. Oh, pray. I, I got hit by a car. Pray? No, you, the, your teacher should have answers to these questions. That's why they get put through the situations that they get put through. So you, YouTube lights, Facebook lights, become not many masters, man, because you have to put up with those things that Christ had to put up with. Where well, he said the, the birds have, have, uh, have nests, the foxes have holes, the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Why? Because he's responsible for everyone. You know what I mean? What do they do? Uh, okay, I'm on a ship. Wind and waves happen all the time. But this time, I got Jesus on deck, so I'm going to go bother him while he's sleeping. <laughs> Let me go below that. Jesus! There's wind and waves. Did Jesus be like, nigga, you're on a boat. You don't want wind and waves? Stay your ass on the land. No. Woke up. Okay, okay, you a little faith. Why did you doubt? Peace, be still. Trying to get some sleep. <laughs> it went back downstairs. The son of man had nowhere to lay his head. Are you ready for that life? Are you ready at 3 in the morning to hear bing? <laughs> and that's your phone going off with like four or five different questions from somebody who's in a different time zone that don't know you is three in the damn morning where you at <laughs> greetings from Africa what the you ready for that are you gonna be there when that guy is trying to kill himself when he's got a gun to his head and a phone in his hand and he's calling you are you going to be there, or are you going to be like, man, I'm trying to get my Jimmy Wax right now? What you going to do? Are you going to be that man for him? Y'all see that? God. That's a challenge for any of y'all that rose up and you already teaching and you got classes set up over here and, you know, I'm watching these cats. They be, no, yeah, we're, we're teaching the ancient Hebrew. What else you know? That's, that's about it. After this, we're going to Applebee's. <laughs> what you want? I teach you these letters that are common knowledge to everyone in the whole damn world. We're going to Applebee's. <laughs> like, come on, man. What, are you going to be that man that's going to teach them anything else but the Hebrew? Because you watched one Hebrew class where you said, oh, they, 
Hey, we study in Hebrew. Okay, it's important to know Hebrew. Okay, well, off of that one class, I'm going to make my whole study life about Hebrew. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to study Hebrew. But where are you going to be when you don't raise yourself as a teacher and they need not and they need knowledge from you outside of Hebrew? Who are you going to send them to? Are you still going to be that teacher? Are you still going to be that man? When that temptation comes for them, did you stand up to that temptation? Or did you fall for it and you don't know what to tell them? Because you're still going through it. Because you were never trying to prove it to be in the position to call yourself a teacher. That's why he said, be not many, many masters. Read. Come, verse 2. Oh, come. And we shall receive the greater con condemnation. I don't know. We're going to receive us to act us and put us. So don't be many masters because it when you step in that arena and you eat and drink unworthily, that's like that's like you go to the club and you weren't invited. You ain't on the list. You understand? It don't matter if, if you went to the if you went to the good club, I'm not talking about the janky clubs. I'm talking about the good club. Where you try to sneak in the back door and then the bouncer come around like is your name on the list? Because why? Because they got 15 bouncers inside. Let's call it up. Like, yeah, this, this dude don't look like nobody we know. We talk about them exclusive clubs. You understand? That's what kind of level this is. Where... No, we don't know him. At this level. Well, let's go mess with him. <laughs> He's stuck in the club. Y'all see that? Oh. Them demons we get here with you, you get here with you, on your level. You know we know we know all the stuff y'all go through, right? You go, you get through. Uh, you know, uh, you you mess with some chick. Now she wants child support. You ain't even know if it's your baby. Uh, your bills came in. You don't know how you gonna pay them. Uh, you just got fired from your job. Okay. I'm gonna go. I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm so, through life, I love will come to your. A lot of times, that will. Because we get them up on the. Teach. And then Davis. Whoop that ass. Uh, Bruce Lee movie, man. Uh, they're the Kung Fu expert, right? And then you come in, you're a white belt. You learn you learn the, the 13 stances and two punches. And you come in there like, shoot, I'm wearing the same outfit you wear. I know this. I got this. Right? Okay, and a nigga that just beat the, the, the sumo champion, right? Bruce Lee come up to you. Oh, so we're fighting? You ain't at Bruce Lee level, though, right? And you know it. <laughs> <laughs> but you still talking best. Y'all see that? He done beat all the other champions. Now he coming to you. Why? Because you're in the same outfit, yes. But you stepped in the wrong damn arena. Uh, you might want to go down back to the kiddie pool. Y'all see that? But are you stepping in the arena with cats that's on that level? Well, what's going to happen? You're going to get annihilated. You're going to get damaged. You see that? Just because you wear the same boxing gloves don't mean you get to step in the ring with Mayweather. You understand? Cool. It don't mean you're Ali all of a sudden. You got to get trained. I'm saying all these things because we laugh at this. We say, oh, that's crazy. That's preposterous. You know what I mean? Why would I do that? Why would you do it in the spiritual world? Why would you do it in, in, in here? Why would you do it in the spirit? Why would you try to jump to a level you're not at? Y'all see that? Come on. No, let yourself go through your trials and tribulations that you could barely handle and get walked through those things. You see that? Then when the fullness of the time comes, you can get to that level. I'm not saying, we ain't saying this to keep y'all down, man. I told you the prayer is raise up prophets, raise up teachers that have been in thy name. Right? Come on. That's what we pray for. 
We want y'all to be at this level. Moses said the same thing. I wish everyone would prophesy. I wish all were teachers. Right? So we, we want the same thing for y'all. But what we don't want is you to do it the microwave way, man. We don't want you to be a TV dinner Israelite, man. You understand? God. Nobody needs that because you won't be dependable. Y'all see that? Y'all be the Israelite that is just like a TV dinner. Uh, I'll take the brownie. <laughs> Throw the rest away. Right? God. Yeah, he knows Hebrew. I'll learn Hebrew from you. I ain't coming to you for nothing else, though. Your ass is stupid. But you know that Hebrew, though. <laughs> See that? I said they got to pay some bills the other day, man. Dude sat there with the, with the shrug. Gave me the shrug. Both, both shoulders touched the ears. Just way up there. <laughs> like, I don't know to the 10th power. I don't know how he got his shoulders that high. <laughs> So yeah, you'll be the you'll be the TV dinner Israelite. You'll be the one where they take the little bit of goodness you do got, and then they'll throw the rest of the tray away, man. No, I ain't messing with that mystery meat. I ain't messing with that mashed potato ish lump that he got. Y'all see that? Y'all gotta watch that. Y'all don't want to try to become many masters, but we gotta get through these scriptures though, man, because I got a lot. Um, go back to uh, it was Corinthians. First Corinthians 8. Because he said in verse 1, we know knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth, right? Oh. Now we're going to read verse 2. And this is this concerns the microwave prophets. This concerns new brothers and sisters. When you get the knowledge, we know y'all all have knowledge. You understand? We know you're called to be prophets. We commend y'all for it. We commend y'all for even stepping in the ring. Y'all see that? We we'll commend y'all for putting on the, the, the suit and tying your white belt around you. We commend you for that. Y'all see that? Come on. Know this. We, we do commend you for it. But don't jump in the ring with the black belts. <laughs> you understand? Not yet. Get trained. You can't take a Taibo class and then go to a Kung Fu tournament. <laughs> you understand? Come on. Read. First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2. Uh -huh. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, uh -huh. he knoweth nothing. He knows what? Nothing. He's he's right on point because he know, he think he know everything. He knoweth nothing. He knows nothing. If you get to the point where you think you know something, clear your mind. Be like you know nothing. They tell you that even in the Easter in the Eastern religions and customs and all that. You understand? You can go off as far as China. And they'll tell you the same thing, just twist it a different way. Basically, when you think you know everything, you can still learn something. Y'all see that? Call. If any of you think he knows anything, he knoweth nothing. You don't get the scriptures. If you think you got it because you watched a few YouTube videos and Facebook videos, some damn uh, uh, vines of niggas preaching, no, you don't know anything. You know nothing. You ain't even got a, a hint of what's going on in this Bible. I don't. I've been in this 15 years studying till my eyes bleed. You understand? Brothers above me are still discovering. The elder that taught me was teaching the truth 40 years, and he bumped into that. Well, oh, there's women angels. Hey, man, you got to know this. After 40 years, you come in after a week. Yeah, you don't, nah, you ain't doing that right. All right wow, you got all Kevin Hart big man on me. Just pointing fingers and puffed up chest and everything. <laughs> you ain't even grown in the truth yet. Y'all see that? Huh. Read. Huh. He know nothing yet as he ought to know. The only thing you know is what you ought to know as a child. As a son. Y'all understand? That's all you know. See, we know you all have knowledge, but the only thing you know is what you ought to know. Okay? You ought to saw YouTube. You ought to know what we teach then. Y'all see that? Okay. You uh, you saw some, some other brothers. You went to another camp. Well, you know what you ought to know. But the most I brought you here so that you can build on that. 
You'll see that? Oh. Yeah, you were born a prophet. What you talking about? Come sit down. Be subject to the prophets. Let's teach. Let me teach you. Let you learn. If you're a real prophet, you already know to be humble. Right? Oh. If you're a real prophet, you already got that humility down. You've been over that scripture. So let's build on it. Y'all see that? Oh. Where you at? Come. First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3. But oh. if any man love the most high, the same is known of him as concerning. Right. So let's go from there. That was it on that. Go to uh <laughs> Oof. so many scriptures. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 37, verse 19. See, because there's a problem with the microwave prophet. All right, the Orville Redenbacher's microwave prophet. There's a problem with this guy. Read that. Gone. Ecclesiastes chapter thirty-seven, verse fourteen. For a man's mind is sometimes nineteen. 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 Oh, come. Verse nineteen. There is one that is wise and teaches many. Uh huh. And yet is unprofitable to himself. Now you got to ask yourself at this point: How is this possible? How is it possible that you just said he was wise? You said he teaches many. But what? what's the problem? God, he is unprofitable to himself. But he's unprofitable to himself? How does that work? Wait a minute. You just taught a class on faith. How you faithless? How you don't understand? You don't get it. You don't see how this is the spirit. You're you giving up. How... How do you do that when you just talk and put together a class on faith? Y'all see that? Uh, What's, how can I take your word that faith is going to pull me through this when you can't get through it and you taught me faith? That don't make sense, right? Uh, That's like I'm teaching my son how to ride a bike, but I ain't never rode a bike before. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all you do is you just jump on it, man, and you just start pedaling, man. You don't need no training wheel. Stop it. Stop being a punk. I jump on there, fly off the handlebars, bust my lip open, teeth fly out, right? And he looking at me like, I ain't getting on that damn bike. What's wrong with you? I'll never ride a bike. I just, ugh, your whole face hamburger meat. I got your teeth, though. That's all you're going to get. You'll never get on that bike, right? Why? Because you were supposed to be showing him and you can't do it. Y'all see that? You're unprofitable to yourself. Oh yeah, you just step on the, on the pedal and you push it this way and you make sure you steer it straight. What's the problem? But you ain't never did it before. You're unprofitable to yourself. How the hell can I learn from you? I can't learn faith. I can't learn brotherhood from a cat that said he ain't, he don't need a camp. How can I learn sisterhood from a sister that always by herself? <laughs> you just a sister. Ain't no hood. Y'all see that? Oh. We got to understand these things about, about microwave prophets and watch out for becoming one. Because what happens is you become a Pharisee. This is the problem with the Pharisees. Go to, uh, did we finish that? Oh, no, oh. no. Read that and then we're going to go to St. John chapter 3 verse 1. But read that. Verse 20. Yeah. Come, there is one that showeth wisdom in words and is hated. He See, shall. There's one that shows wisdom in words, Come. but he's hated. Why? Because where is this? What is wisdom? Boom. Correct application of knowledge. But all this guy's wisdom in is what? Words, right? He ain't got deeds. He's not doing the knowledge. That's what wisdom is. You're doing the knowledge. You're applying it. But he only got wisdom in words. He sounds smart. See that? Like niggas watch watch MacGyver and thought they were scientists. Some of y'all don't remember MacGyver. Uh, <laughs> uh, what did y'all have, man? Y'all had the 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 two young kids, huh? Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill Nye, you watched some Bill Nye episodes. You thought you was a scientist, blew up the whole backyard, blew up your room. Why? 
You know, you, didn't, you don't want one of the measurements. Oh, he just took this stuff. I ordered it online. I got it. You poured this much and that much. I see it. TV adds 10 pounds. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't need measurements. I can eyeball this. But it looked bigger on TV. So you done added 20, 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and, and, and uh, 50 pounds of vinegar because it looked the same on TV. <laughs> Y'all see that? No, you can't do it like that. You can't. You didn't. You can't do it. You can't be a scientist learning Bill Nye, right? You don't. You don't start there. You say, "Oh, he inspired me to go learn how to be a scientist," right? Of yeah, you don't just jump into that arena. Play. Start playing with chemicals. They're dangerous. All right. Cool. It's no different in the truth. Uh, where are you at? Uh. Precepts, chapter 37, verse 20, second precept, and it says, he shall be destitute of all food. See, that's why this person is destitute of all food. He never has nothing to give. He never has anything to, to speak on. Because what? He just got wisdom and words. He's just acting like he knows what he's doing. Y'all see that? But then when you prove him, you okay, well, let me see you do it. Oh, you ain't doing it? Then I can't follow you. You can't do it. You don't know how to do it. I can't follow you. The hell you even talk for? You need to sit down next to me in class. <laughs> Where you at? Read on. Come, verse 21. For grace is not given him from the Lord. See, grace ain't given to these type of people of the most high. He doesn't give them grace. He checks them on everything. That's why you see these cats. One minute they Facebook a light preacher, right? Extraordinary 50 shield general and all this. And then next minute, my girl left me. I want to kill myself. Blue background. Uh, sad face. Feeling sad. <laughs> See, I can be descriptive with it because you see it all the time, man. My, my, uh, my husband left me again. Again? Damn. How many of did you have? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. This is the same teacher, uh, this is the same sister that was teaching all that. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do your relationship on your fifth, sixth husband that ain't none of them dead. <laughs> well, why was I listening to you? You can't hold down one yourself. You was, I was following you because you was on anti-polygamy, right? We'll find out you can't even hold down one man. You can't hold down a man that was ready to give you the stars and the moon and all that stuff. Y'all see that? Cool. Yeah, we gotta watch these cats because they, they have deceived the very elect. They get on there and make you the, the, the little 30 minute videos, anti camp and yeah, the, this camp did me wrong and they taught me wrong. I mean, nigga, we never taught you. You was never in class. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop using our name. You didn't even get enough to, you weren't even in class long enough to say our name right. I-S-B-H-P-K, six letters. You can remember six letters in sequence. But you say you roll with us. <laughs> I love that video. She said there, it was like I-S something B-K, but I was with them and they just taught me all these wrong, like apparently they didn't teach you how to read. The sign is in big red letters on the side of the building. <laughs> How did we get to teaching you all that stuff, but we didn't teach you what the name of the cat? Y'all see that? Oh. It don't make sense, man, but we, they'll deceive the very elect if you let them. Read on. Come. For grace is not given him from the Lord, because he is deprived of all wisdom. Another is wise to himself. See, it says grace is, uh, grace is not given to him from the Most High, because he's deprived of all wisdom. He took himself out of every situation where he could apply knowledge. So he doesn't know how to uh, definitively and expertly and um, with detail tell you how to deal with your situation. You understand? Uh, yeah, brother, uh, my, my wife left me, man. She threatened to come back and beat my ass. I don't know what to do. Uh, pray without ceasing. Rejoice in the Lord. Okay, but I think she might whoop me, man. <laughs> what Run. should I do? Run. 
Well, past that, all I can tell you is run. Can't teach you how to fight. Can't teach you how to talk your way out of the situation. I can't teach you how to dwell with, dwell with her according to wisdom, but I can't tell you what wisdom. I can say, hey, 1 Peter 3 and 7, likewise you husband dwell with her according to knowledge, but I don't know what knowledge you should give her. So I need a little more than that, man. Can I, can I at least learn a kung fu block or something? <laughs> Why? Because that man has been through the situation. Wisdom comes through experience. You understand? So you can't let these cats deceive y'all, man. I see that happen too many times, and, I, and I'm saying this stuff out of love. Where, where they was coming at him for his and he had to put them so you can teach the doctrine of myth. Hypocrites. Expertly, right? Following everything, use what you say. All the, all the cats got knotted up. Pull your window down. Put in the window. It cop jerked my whole damn window. Big ass he man cop. Agree with their atmosphere. <laughs> Pull me out of every situation. I was one of them. I was sitting there like, oh yeah, it seemed like it worked. You know what I mean? Little Becky did it at the at the at the uh, checkpoint. That was Becky. She's in her kingdom. They don't mess with you when you're in your kingdom. <laughs> you a nigga. You a foreigner to them. They're like, uh, that don't work here. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. How many people did that because they follow some cats that they didn't understand yours and said, listen, but it don't work all across the board. Went to this, uh, they saw the martial arts equipment and all this. Has anybody ever heard, you know, you see it, their heart just explode like, like three times. That's a real thing, right? It, it, looks, it looks like, damn, that'll be the quick way to end the fight right there, right? I just poke him right in the middle of the head and just, he just started having a tumor and then he drops dead. End of the fight, right? Well, right? Your body, that they got the all, the all, the ones in your arms and stuff like that. The pre what they call pressure points here, right? Okay, and then they tell you when you actually read it, how's the pressure you got to put into it. right here? Be two in the morning. They gotta be between two in a certain type of way. <laughs> Line up. So, what? Book. You gotta know how many pounds of pressure per hit with when you're white, though. <laughs> Your four knuckle puts on. And then, how much? Because that's how you gotta do it for that. This part. And the guys tell Blood and drop. <laughs> <laughs> you got knocked up. Smoking sound. You just say it. Right? You never studied. You understand? You just did what you saw. Where are you at? Saint Jones. It was a matter about the Pharisees, man. They the ones that voted with Christ on. Name Nicodemus. All right, a ruler of the Jews. He was a ruler of the Jews. Family, I know how many peoples in my city. You know the laws that they live by. What supposed to do. High priest. I know the Pharisee. Mm -hmm. I know every jot and tittle. Right. That's like me sitting up here. Some of y'all see me. The brother gets stuck on a word. I ain't even at the page, and I'm 
Oh, it's, it's superfluous. Okay, yeah. You look at me like, how you know that? Your Bible closed. I've been there a million times. Experience, right? This is what level the Pharisees were on, probably beyond me. All right? They were way beyond me, as a matter of fact. The Pharisees could read you the Bible backward in Hebrew. All right? That's how good they were. Now read on. The same came to Jesus. Uh-huh. By night. He came by night, right? Because he didn't want to come when the other Pharisees were there because he didn't want to look like stupid asking questions. See, they was all puffed up in their knowledge. You understand? So they could be caught asking this man questions. Because what? Everybody looked at them, and so their pride was there. Their pride was, I can't, why can't you at least be the example to show your people how to ask questions? You know how you know that they, that they were not the example of how to ask questions? For one, he came by night. Two, Christ had to always tell him, you have heard that it was said of old time. Shouldn't he have been saying, you have read? But why were they always hearing it? Because nothing ever, nobody ever told them, oh, go to the scripture. Go to Deuteronomy, and we're going to read that. In Hebrew, in Greek, in Rome, in, in Latin, and whatever you want to read it in, we'll read it in that language, and I'll give that to you, and I'll give you the understanding. They didn't teach their people to read the scriptures. They would tell them what the scriptures say. Now, see that? Now, that leaves all kinds of time for you to inject opinions in your take, right? Same thing with these Facebook Israelites today, YouTube Israelites, brand new brothers that want to start teaching. Same problem. That knowledge is puffed up. Y'all see that? Read on. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Damn, they already knew that. They knew he was a teacher that came from the Most High. They knew he was a teacher. Y'all see that? Read on. For no man can do these miracles. Whoa, how do we know you're a teacher? Well, no man can do these miracles. Right, see, nobody's doing what you're doing. Y'all yeah, see that? They talking about miracles Moses did. You're doing what you read. You see that? There's a difference. Uh, this man just came in, and he's talking about things he done read in the scriptures and how we got to suffer unto death. And we have not yet suffered under blood, but we will. But he ain't never did it. Y'all see that? How was Christ known as a teacher? Because he was doing what he was speaking about. Y'all see that? If you get online and these cats ain't doing what they're talking about, you ain't never seen them on a street corner. You ain't never seen them in an altercation. You ain't never seen them, they, they, you ain't never seen nothing they lived. Don't mess with that. Don't let that influence you. Even us. That's why we tell y'all, come out when we street speak. Come out when we're doing these things. So you can see that we live this word. You understand? Be there. Be around. Be around, brother. If you're a brother, be around these brothers so you can gain that trust. That we ain't just talking about things we don't know. You understand? I let brothers, the few I have let, they weren't ready for that level. They, they lived in my house. And they're like, damn, takes all that. <laughs> you got to do this, this, and that, and then still manage your bills and still answer all these questions and maintain the peace of your household and then take a million phone calls and maintain peace in other people's households and then go teach class and then go do a cable show and then go do this? No, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to screw around and stay a soldier. We, we've seen it. Why? Because that's a, that's a level they ain't ready for. They don't want to do what they see. Y'all see that? But they got the opportunity to see us doing it. They got the opportunity to see me not uh, sidewinder kicking my rib in the face when she live off, right? They got to see me get your Bible or yell or whatever, but anything outside of Hadouken, right? They got to see me do all that outside of that, doing what dwelling according to knowledge. Why? I learned that from Kazak. Being in his house, being around him, seeing how he dealt with his. 
Y'all see that? Oh. See, and my elders do the same thing. Okay, well, shoot, that's how I'm gonna deal with it then. You understand? Oh. We also learn from our fathers. We also learn of our elders and how to serve great men with ease, like it said in Ecclesiastes, right? Oh. So we pass that down. But we give y'all the opportunity to see what we're doing. That way you're not blindly following us. We don't want no blind followers, man. Know us. You know what I mean? When this, I think it was the other day I got accused of, oh, well, you lying on me. I'm like, you must not know me very well, bro. <laughs> I give a damn about lying on somebody that I don't know, that I'm, that I'm not, <laughs> this situation don't affect me. You know what I mean? Yeah, if the cops stop you, and they like, what's his name? What'd he say? You know what I mean? What did he tell you? I'm, I'm lie a minute. I don't know them cops, but I know you. I'll do that for you, right? But why I gotta lie on you? Y'all see that? Get to know us, be around. They, they knew Christ, they was following Christ everywhere he went, the apostles, right? They got to know him, see? Watch, read on, because we got more scriptures again. But no man can do these miracles that thou doest. See, we know because no man can do these miracles that you doest. Read. Except God be with him. Right, go ahead. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Christ said, gave him a little text question, man. He gave him a little, little parable. He gave him a little dark saying. Because, you know, you're a Pharisee, man, so I, I'm not expecting something of you. So let me drop some knowledge on you, bro. Listen, truly, a man can't inherit the kingdom of God. He can't get into the kingdom of God unless he get born again. Read. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Uh -uh. How you go? How do that? How can I be born again when I'm old? Read what Christ told him. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Now, does that make any damn sense? Now, remember, this is the ruler of a ruler of Israel, a man who got people under him. Like we was talking about, what's wrong with our leaders? Asking this dumb ass question. Like, no, dude, you're forty years old. You cannot crawl back up into your mother's <laughs> uterus and get pooped out again into the world. It don't work like that. Y'all see that? I mean, you would think you would think that as a common, like common sense, but this is why the Pharisees wouldn't come to him by day with this stuff, because they didn't want to acknowledge how stupid they were. You understand? But this guy at least would come to see Christ and say, "You know what? I know who you are. I know you're a teacher, bro. So I'm going to ask you my stupid questions." Y'all see that? At least he had the good sense to do that. The rest of the Pharisees. They couldn't have, they didn't want to be around Christ because they knew that he was a level above them. He had been through the things. He had lived what he was talking about. Y'all see that? Okay. Read. And be born. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Right, so he came at him again. Listen. And let a man be born of water and the spirit. Not just the amniotic fluid that's in your mother's belly, but he got to be the spirit too. He can't see the kingdom of the Most High. Go ahead. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Uh -huh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Go ahead. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Right. Don't, don't trip over what I just said about being born again. Just follow me, man. Follow me. Well, follow what I'm saying. Y'all see that? Call it. I lost you at the first thing I said. <laughs> I got a whole bunch more to tell you. Hold on. Just let me get it out, and then you'll, you'll see what you need to marvel at. But watch. Read on. The wind blow it where it listed. Right. The wind. Well, let me give you some examples. The wind blow wherever it wants to, right? Uh -huh. You don't get to tell it what to do. Go ahead. And thou hearest the sound thereof. You hear the sound. Read. But can it? But canst not tell whence it cometh. Uh-huh. And whither it goeth. Right. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Right. Go ahead. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? What? Jesus answered. Wait, what? 
What do you mean, how can these things be? You don't know how the spirit works? You never read Ezekiel or Ecclesiastes? Come on, man. You're supposed to know this. Ecclesiastes is the first chapter. You're supposed to know this. The wind go here, the wind go there, and then it go back where it wants to, right? The water comes up, the water go down, and then the water go back where it came from. You're supposed to know this. <laughs> go ahead. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? See that? Like, dude, you, you're supposed to be a master of Israel? They put you in that high position? You a, you a Facebook uh, prophet? You a microwave prophet? You, you was prophesying all over the place when it came down to Immaculate Conception. <coughs> but I hit you with a regular down-to-earth question, and you can't answer these things? I'm going to start doing that, man. Instead of debating, I'm going to start throwing my personal questions out. Listen, brother. I see you a teacher, man. I need to know. I got this much income coming in. And I got this many bills. Now, simple math, this is less than this. What do I do? I'm just going to start asking questions like that. Now, you, you challenge me, so obviously... You got more knowledge, right? But let's not talk about macular conception right now. Let's table that. Put that one on the shelf. I got a real down-to-earth, honest-to-goodness question. My rib is tripping. What do I do? <laughs> Y'all got to start doing that to them. Before you start trusting them with doctrine and your, and, and your spiritual mindset and basing everything you believe on what they say, Ask them simple questions because this is what Christ did. Watch, read. He Man. said, aren't you a master of Israel and you don't know these things? Watch what he's explaining to him. Watch. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know. See, I'm just speaking about things that you know about. We're talking about things we know. You know about the wind, right? You know about, the, you know about being born, right? Okay, so... I'm trying to tell you about things you know and you tripping. You don't get it. Read. And testify that we have seen. Right, we testify what we seen. Go ahead. And you receive not our witness. And you don't you don't get us. You don't receive us. Why? Because you haven't seen these things. You don't know these things. But you calling yourself a master of Israel. We talking about what we've been through. You see that? When we prophesy to the people and tell them about that red fox Herod that's doing this and doing that because we know Herod. I know he tried to kill me when I was two years old. I've been there. I did that. Right? But y'all kissing Herod's ass and calling y'all selves the rulers of Israel because you don't know Herod. You ain't been through what a typical Israelite been through. You was up in the Pharisee houses while he was slaughtering all the two-year-olds. Y'all see this? Read on. All right, no, that's it on that. But see, that's what he's trying to show him. Is like, listen, all I'm asking you and talking to you about is things you're supposed to know already. Y'all see this? Cool. And why don't these, why don't these YouTube lights, these, uh, these uh, microwave prophets, why don't they know these things? Because they ain't been through it. They're still learning. They're still under tutors and governors, or supposed to be. But they, they decided to buck the government. They decided to buck the tutors. Jump into, the, jump into college when you ain't been through ninth grade. Y'all see this? Just making sure, man. Making sure everybody following. Because this is a serious epidemic, man. And I'm not, we're not doing it to get y'all to follow us. That's not what this class is about. Because well, well, I was talking to me about it, and, I, and then this, these scriptures started coming to me. It's not so y'all follow us. It's to guard your own mind. Y'all see that? I'm going to be teaching the truth regardless of where you're sitting, in what class, in whose camp. I'm still going to be teaching my truth, teaching the truth that has been entrusted to me. Y'all see that? All right, so, you know, this is for your own personal benefit and well-being. All right? 1 Timothy 6 and 1. You know what? I'm jumping. Sorry. This one. Ecclesiastes 34, verse 9. Come on. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 34, verse 9. Mm -hmm. A man that had tra traveled, knowing. Traveled. Hmm? Oh, traveled, knoweth many things. See, a man that's traveled knoweth many things. And he that, that had much experience will declare wisdom. And a person that has what? Much experience will declare wisdom. Well, what kind of person should be given wisdom? Someone who has much experience. A person who has much experience should declare wisdom. You get on there, you got the little the the, the, the little boy Israelites that's you know still wearing button up clothes with they with they school letters on it. <laughs> and they try to teach Israel. And they try to drop to you their understanding of these scriptures. And you're following that? Or you still got breast milk dribbling out the side of your mouth and you trying to tell people how to live their life and how to guide their family? No, that's only for people that got much experience. Read. Come. He that has no experience knows little. What? Hold on, you gotta read these again, man. Read it again. He that has no experience knows little. So should I trust a Facebook alike? No. Should I trust a YouTube alike? Why? Because he had no experience. Uh-huh. He that had no experience knows little. See, because he that had no experience don't know nothing. You know, it, he doesn't know what he should know. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, if you got any, if you go to, if you listen to any camp on your YouTube, on your Facebook, and they, and they got the little dude that ain't, can't even grow a beard yet, I know there's some older brothers that can't grow beards and all that. But you got the little dude that's still ruddy in his face. He's still young, youthful face, right? He still ain't, his voice ain't even changed yet. And he's breaking out scriptures and everything and giving you his understanding. And then he got to start talking against other people, other camps, other established elders so that he can get his point across, so that he can get some street cred. That's a person that doesn't know anything. You understand? Oh. But... Do that, like I told you. Give them the simple questions. Don't talk about spiritual things and talk about doctrine and all that. Just give them simple things. Hey, um, I need to unify with people. How can I unify? Well, uh, uh, we don't do camps. Okay, well then how do I unify? <laughs> you see that? Hey, uh, he, uh, he went out and everything in me is telling me to text this dude like 15 times and use his Find My iPhone app and you know find out exactly where he is and do all this. What should I do? Right? Start glitching on you. Smoke come out, right? I can't follow you. You understand? No scriptures. Uh, off the wall answers, all that stuff. That's not a person you can follow. All right, read. But he that had traveled is full of its prudence. See, but he full prudent. Us, yeah. it out of our mouth, because a lot of y'all don't, man. I see some of the stuff y'all go through, and it's like, dude, we just did a class on that. Why you didn't just do what we said? <laughs> we point for point went over that yesterday. What happened? Uh, uh, well. You didn't trust. You didn't trust what was being taught to you because you don't know us. See? Go ahead. Come, verse 11. When uh, I, 1 Timothy 6 and 1. Come. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 1. So we just found out through the scriptures that you got to have much experience to declare wisdom. To be able to show people how to apply knowledge, you got to have a lot of experience. So these really young, super young dudes are still wet behind the ears, still don't know how to how to wear that. The, they they supposed to wear garments when they teach, you know. They I mean? still don't know that uh, that they can't just only get classes off YouTube, uh, trying to buck elders and trying to say uh, you don't need no elder. This Holy Spirit can teach you, but they teaching you that. Those ain't those ain't the ones to go to. They have no experience. Where you at? Come. First Timothy chapter six verse one. Uh -huh. Let as many servants 
as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. And this is their problem. When they was under, when they, most of these cats that start talking anti-camp, some of them been in the camp, but they couldn't obey this scripture. And then you gotta ask them, okay, if you don't believe in the camp, if you if you made yourself a general and all this stuff like that, right? If you or if you you gotta ask yourself, okay, if I'm at the level to teach and guide people's families, have I put myself under the yoke? Have I put myself under any burdens? Have I had a master that I can count worthy of all honor? Because this is what makes a this is what makes a servant of the most high. Right? He said, uh, let as many servants, let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. Am I doing that or am I talking against my masters according to the flesh? Read on. That the name of the most high and his doctrine be not blasphemy. Go ahead. Verse 2, and they that have believed masters. See, that way you're not on YouTube and Facebook talking mess about some elder or some some uh, brother. And turns out I'm talking all this mess against another fellow Israelite and making all Israel look bad. Y'all see that? Did I put myself under his yoke? Did I get up under his wing and learn how to fly? Or did I just jump out the nest? <laughs> jump out the nest and start flapping my arms. Where you at? Come, verse 2. And they have they that have believed masters, let them not despise them, mm -hmm. because they are brethren. See, but, don't despise your believing masters because they're your brothers. Go ahead. Come, but rather do them service because do they them what? Do them service. What are you supposed to do before you end up becoming a master? Do them service. Do someone else service. Well, how do I do somebody service? I don't believe in camps. I don't believe in elders. I don't believe in order, structure, none of that. Who are you doing service to? He didn't say just do this service to the most high. He said your masters, right? Come. Watch, well, read on. Come, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. Uh -huh. These things You're going to read the verse 5. Come. These things teach and exhort. Right. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahushad, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing what? nothing. What? What is he? He is proud, knowing nothing. Why do these people talk against that kind of order? Why do they talk against that kind of uh, structure? Because they're proud. Maybe they don't they, there you and they don't know a damn thing. <laughs> they don't know a damn thing, and they wouldn't put themselves under the yoke. Cause what does it take to put yourself under a yoke? Humility. Boom. That's where they fail. It takes humility to put yourself under a yoke. Now I, I don't need to do all that work. We don't need to do all that. We ain't got to meet four times a week. We just do it once. I'll see you on Sunday. We're going to go down here and get baptized in this dirty water today, and I'll see you next week. And then when we get together, we're going to pass out some flyers, and we're going to talk loud on the speaker, and then we're going to go home. All right, see y'all later, man. We can go home, and you can chill with your rib. I'm going to be chill with my rib. What you doing? I'm just chilling. You ain't doing no work outside of that? I was talking to somebody about the, uh, the different uh, military outbursts that we've had as black people, right? We had the Black Panthers, we had uh, we had the Marcus Garveys, we had all these cats that rose up and, you know, uh, uh, Malcolm X's and all this stuff like that, right? There was military and everything like that. Big as a defense and all that. Yeah, <laughs> right? So when you look at the Black Panther Party, right? These cats armed themselves, walked the streets with AKs. The brother that got shot in his apartment, I always lose his name. The Black Panthers. Carl Hampton? Huh? Carl Hampton? Oh, Carl Hampton. In, uh, Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. We have one in Houston, Carl Hampton. Fred got killed in the apartment. In, uh, there you go. California. Now, let's so, talk about where, where he, we just said he got killed. Where did he get killed? In his apartment. On the street shooting? When one got killed in the street, 
on top of the church, the third ward, and one got killed. They went in the red department while he was dead. Separate places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We talked all this mess as an army. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then we separated. Yeah. Yeah. You don't start a war as an army right. and then break up. Yeah. That's stupid. That's not a military tactic. Right. <laughs> Y'all see that? Uh, Huey P. Newton yeah. killed him in the movie theater, right? Yeah. Am I right? No, not Huey P. Who, who's, no, he got no. He got locked up. Who's the one yeah. they killed in the he movie theater? He went up on another name. Yeah. Uh, who's the cat? They, they killed this cat in the movie theater, man. I know, I know they killed one on top of the church in Third Ward. Yeah. The car happened back in, uh, okay. in, in the 869. So I got to get the names down. I was about nine years old when yeah, I gotta get the names down, but man. They, the thing, they have the they have the enemy. They have the people they were fighting against. Look, if you look at those videos, uh -huh. they have the enemy sitting there inside their meetings while they talk all that stuff. Point tell pro, right? Yep. But see, here's the thing: you're a military. You're yeah. armed. You're dangerous. You start. You picked a fight. You declared war, and they killed you in your hotel room yeah. while you was getting some guts. And check this out: the <laughs> policeman. They showed up. I watched the video on the one that got to get Fred, Fred Hampton. Right. Uh, when the police killed him, they showed the video. The cop actually said this right here. The niggas dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they was in war. Yeah, black cop. Black yeah. cop said that. See, when they, they declared war, yeah. they didn't know that the enemy was taking it serious. Yeah. That's an inexperienced leader, man. That's an inexperienced leader that tells you to do some stuff like that. Look, we all gonna mount up, get guns, do all this, yeah. get our face known in the streets, yeah. and then get caught with our pants down. Well, add this the marching, right? And you can even go back and tell further to the Civil War, right? You got black people in the news media. It's certain things I'm not gonna do no paycheck, brother. Right. You got black people in the news media perpetuating this stuff. What you see now. Because when they go along to get along just to get a paycheck right. and never perpetuate racism and discrimination, you just as worse than the one with the sheet on his face. No doubt. No doubt. But they they doing it just for a paycheck, man. Yeah. And so you done gave away everything that the people fought for. Fighting the German shepherds and the police and the firemen. You done gave out and getting kicked in the behind. Your old people getting your old men getting kicked in the behind. You gave all that away. Right, for nothing. But what you doing? Sitting on the news panel, going along, perpetuating discrimination, racial, bigot, biased news reporting. Right, you right. Know, you gave all that away. Yeah. That's why the communities look the way they do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, here's the thing. Yeah. Again. That's my opinion, though. <laughs> no, no, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. As we look at all our leaders, man. Yeah. They talked all this mess. They talked yeah. all this madness. And they died in the foolishest way possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. They died unarmed. Or yes. they died, yes. like, you don't start a war and then put your gun down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and most of them that died, they use other people look like them to take them out. Yeah. And they are living in worse, well, that's Malcolm X. If you want to kill Malcolm X, they are out living in worse condition than the world. He was back there preaching on the streets. Yeah. Look at the community. Sold out for nothing. Sold out for nothing, bro. Right. But you see, that's the thing, man. It, again, we got to look at these people that rise up and call themselves their leaders, yes, call themselves yes, our leaders. Yes. Are they doing the work? No. When I look at how they died, yeah. I gotta look at were they actually doing what they were talking about. Were you a military or were you just militaristic? You see that? Uh, if if you gonna start a war with somebody, that's why we tell that's why we always say that most high gonna destroy America. Christ gonna destroy America. Why? Because we ain't trying to, we don't got to pick a little fight with y'all. Right, don't want to battle none of us. Yeah, we're, in, we're behind enemy lines. Yes. Yeah. I ain't going to be behind enemy lines talking about, yeah, I'm trying to fight you. Your whole army is surrounding me already. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You make a phone right. call, cops surround my house. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you see that? That's right. So why would I start a war with you here? <laughs> Wait till I get back in Israel, I'll start all that mess. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come get me, nigga. You know what I mean? Like the Vietnamese did, right? Yeah. That worked. Why? Why did it work for the Vietnamese? <laughs> Come on. They was in their own damn land talking mess. Yeah. No, we ain't doing no. We ain't doing no democracy. We we gonna keep. We're gonna have communism just like the Russians. We are gonna do it our way, right? Okay, well we're gonna fight you. Well, come on then. <laughs> got a whole bunch of people killed. A lot of people killed. Yeah. And now Hundreds of thousands, people, right? And now the people over here living better than you live. Yeah. We got four spots on every block. Yes, sir. Yes, 
dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now they selling you for you paying seven dollars for a bowl of damn noodles you used to buy for thirty nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all you know see that? Oh. Why? Because they're smart. Yes. Yeah. They're smart. When they talk about it, they be about it. Yes. You see that? What happened with our leaders? They talked about it. Yeah. They got famous off it, but they weren't actually about it. When it came down to put up, they had to shut up. Yeah. And got shut up. Yeah. Y'all see that? Because their own people. They use their own people to do it. Yeah. Even worse, because the scriptures tell you, yeah. watch your enemy. Watch yeah. these things. You know what I mean? The person that's next to you, watch them. Uh -huh. They tell you this. Like as iron rust and so is their wickedness. Yeah. David said it wasn't the enemy that did it was one of my own. Right. You know. But was Huey promoting yeah. the Bible? No. <laughs> was any of these cats promoting the Bible? Was Malcolm promoting the Bible? No. No, I want to deal with the Quran. That ain't your book, man. Yeah. When Martin Luther King decided to promote it, he got killed the next day. Yeah. When he finally he started quoting the scriptures, right? Yeah. And he said that the Negro is a stranger in his own land, he died the next day. Yeah. When he started dropping that truth. He started dropping that truth. He, yeah. He died the next day. Yep. Yeah, he started dropping what his pop knew. Yeah. Yeah, Martin Luther King yeah. Sr. That's right. Was a commandment keeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they killed his mother, got killed in the church. You know that, right? The gunman stood up in church and shot his mother. Damn. Black man. Yeah. He stood up in church and shot his mother. Yeah. You know, and uh, Damn. so they have inside stuff that be going on. It's just like this stuff with this shooting. And this ballpark this guy did. All that's just to divert this stuff was going on in the White House. So these people is all this stuff that you got to watch. They create these stories. Yeah. And and and, and man, and you know, I usually didn't know all this stuff when I was just there medicating on drugs. When I went to that penitentiary, they opened my eyes up to a whole lot of stuff going on. They making big money off of criminality. They're not trying to rehabilitate. That's why the communities, man. I don't see how these communities can be like that. They wasn't like that when I was coming as a kid. Right, right. <laughs> well, it's, it's because of what we're talking about, yeah. man. Nobody wants to go through the process that it takes to be a leader. Yeah. Nobody wants to go through the process and and, uh, and be tempered and be patient and learn humility. Yeah. They just want to jump up and say they're yeah. leaders. Then when they come down to take depend on titles. Take the titles. Yeah, take the title, but then when it come down to depend on yes. right? Uh Right? Yeah, yeah Farrakhan, you was talking about all, the, all this Bible and Quran and all this. He was mixing every damn thing. Uh, so, what do you do for our people? What what can you do? What can I do for my people with this? Uh, nothing, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm writing That's fiction it, novels yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see that? Yeah. I'm following uh, L. Ron Hubbard now. Yeah. I'm a yeah. Scientologist. Yeah, stuff. Like, dude, I can't I can't depend on you for nothing. Y'all see that? Yeah. Our leaders our leaders put themselves in that leadership position, but they didn't go through the leadership work. No. Y'all see that? Anybody can get up and talk in front of a bunch of people. It's not hard. People try to make it seem like it's hard. It's not. Because there's no one-on-one. -on -one. There's no accountability. Ain't nobody in the crowd. Yeah, if somebody's in the crowd waving like, hey, that's wrong. Yeah, they're no facing the crowd. You can just keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> they do it in church all the time. So, right? You be sitting there like, preacher, I oh, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So all right, man. Right? <laughs> That's funny. I talked with a lady in Jackie the box last week. I know I just stopped in there and uh, she had two granddaughters. Uh -huh. And this particular church, this is a big church, black church, over off of Cullen. And uh, she said that she was going to church. She said that, and she started saying, hey Amen, Pastor. She said, The pastor stopped preaching and told the deacon, said, If that woman made one more verse like that, have them put out here. She, you know, and this guy, <laughs> I used to listen to Carol on the radio, but what made me stop listening to him? When they built this great big old Immaculate Church right. in the center, in the heart of the black community, yeah. they had five black men working there. And I, 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 just, I knew right there something wrong. Yeah. I listened to him before. You wouldn't even hire them? And not only him, there's a bunch of them that a lot of these big mega black churches, they're not even hiring their own men. I mean, you got black men that take care of their grammar too. Yeah. That's why a lot of them see other drugs that have mad because y'all don't let them down. Y'all not, y'all. And let the property go down, y'all buying out the property, big parking lots out of the bigger tree. And, That's and you, know, you know what made them so powerful is stupid people. Yeah. Ignorant people. Mm -hmm. They played off everybody. They prayed yeah. and played off everybody's yeah. ignorance. Yeah. Because that person didn't know their leader. 
They didn't know if this person was trustworthy, yeah. if they were dependable. Yeah. It said the things that you have learned of me could have been a faithful man. They didn't realize that the pastor wasn't a faithful man. Right. He wasn't a person I could put my dependa uh, dependability on. Y'all yes. see that? I said, I give you pastors out of my own heart. They look at their heart. They will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. So that was what they were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do it. And the people didn't test to see if that person was going right. to feed them with knowledge and understanding. Right. If they was going to speak according to this word. Right. See that? Right. So they played off the people's ignorance. And yes. that's what we don't yes. want with y'all. And All you right? just said the key. You know what I mean? But he said, and if they don't speak, they don't, what they say is not in them. Right. If they, if they don't right. speak according to this word, there's no it's light in there's them. There's no light in them. Right. See that? But that's that's what this class is for. So y'all cannot be led astray by anyone. Right. You understand? Man, I really if I should jump up here and be like, yeah. yeah, I found in the scriptures it's okay to smoke yeah. weed now. Yeah. What of y'all should be able to check me? Yeah. Y'all see that? Because. You should be able to check me and be able to go point for point in the scriptures and say, no, no, sir, yeah. we, we don't we don't do that. You I have a great appreciation oh. for the class, man, because uh, it have really helped me in understanding that and appreciating that Bible. Right. I have not been in any church done that. And I stood a lot in prison on the internet since I've been out almost 16 years. And I'm not just saying this to try to butter nobody bread. I really have appreciation because I have gained so much wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures. And I said I do everything right. But I have a great appreciation for these scriptures. And that's why I talk like I got to do because I don't see how you can live out here and say you're a Christian in church and this stuff don't bother you. Right. <laughs> on a daily basis, man. There's something wrong when you got all these churches in the community. It's not you. It's when you're swimming in money, you can't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see yeah. no problems. Yeah, can't see that money, huh? Yeah, when, when they keep throwing money yeah. at you and, yeah. Yeah. and women yeah. and yeah. boys and whatever the hell yeah. else your heart yeah. lusts after, yeah. Yeah. you can't see the problems of your people. You yeah. see that? Mm -hmm. And that's why that's why we're doing the class so y'all can see that we see these things. Mm -hmm. We're with y'all. We struggle with the yeah. same struggles y'all struggle with. Yeah. Have been through the same things y'all been through. And the only way to get to where we at is that you do it the same way. You understand? Ask yourself, bro. Right. When you first got into the, I hate to say 15 years. Yeah. That's your right. personal question. Yeah. This, because this has been affecting me. Was you to the point, because I know you had to be at a fed up point when you got here, right? Yeah. The church. Big time. And, and with society as a whole, your community. When you come into this truth, before you started, when you got on level where you at, but when you was getting there and stuff was bothering you, did you almost feel like you wanted to go out on your own and you kill a speaker somewhere and start preaching, man? Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, I man, mean, I, I, mean, I, I pretty, pretty much got some time, man. almost fired from work for doing it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got to that point back like then, man. And stuff be like, what, you know, especially like early morning, you go to somewhere, get your cup of coffee, something, you see all this. Yeah. Degradation early in the morning, man. That, like, that's why when you read Ezekiel 9 and 4, that's how he marked Ezekiel you because what? Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's how he marked you was because you sighed and cried for all the abominations that were done in the midst of the city. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what made him mark you. That's what made him say, you know what? That one, that's going to be mm -hmm. the prophet to the nations. Mm -hmm. That's the one I, I ordained mm -hmm. right there. Go get him. Mm -hmm. You see that? Ezekiel 9 4? Yeah, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Run through the midst of the city. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, hey, wow. All right. Uh, where are we at? Uh, um, 1 Timothy chapter 6. Any questions so far? Be beside that book. Any other questions? Are y'all following? Call. Yeah. All right. Verse 4. He is proud, knowing nothing. See, this type of person is proud and he what knows you nothing. Verse 2, what Oh, uh, First Corinthians, oh, First Timothy, six, oh, verse first through five. First Timothy, uh huh, chapter six, verse uh -huh. one through five. So this this type of person that goes off and decides that after a year or two years they're already teacher level, they're proud, knowing nothing. Do not follow these people. Read on. Come, but dotting. About questions and stripes of words. How do you mark these people? Because they're doting about stripes and questions of words. That's all you see on Facebook, man. You hit them with a scripture, they like, see, it said this. <laughs> you like, okay, bro. Yeah. Like the one dude that was beating Matthew 1, verse 25 to death. I had to just leave him alone. See, it says, knew her not, knew her not. 
And I'm like, bro, I already addressed it. You didn't address it by, by scripture. I'm like, okay, I already told you. Knew her not, meaning he didn't have sex with her again. What's the problem? How do you not understand it? Well, see, and you tap dancing around my quick like, okay, we're not going to play on stripes of words. Where your congregation at? Why don't you go argue with your leader? Yeah, he say, huh? Right, you know what I mean? Like, where, where is your, where's your group at? What camp did you start? Well, I don't believe in no camps. Well, then you ain't, you ain't believe in the scriptures, man. Because we all had camps. You apparently don't know the Old Testament either. You don't know the new, you don't know the old. Y'all see that? Huh. Yeah, you get this all the time because the simple things of just knowing the scriptures and asking them the simple questions about the things that are in here. See? It's the problem. They're doting about strifes and questions about words. A little, this this word don't mean that. And this word don't mean that. And like, they, they play over, see, you said that. Like, okay, but what scripture did I post? They usually don't dote over the words of the scripture even. They dote over a word you said to explain the scripture. Like, dude, why don't you just read the Bible? Go ahead. We're all coming envy, strife, we're Railings, evil, surmising. Surmisings, right? So where, when they start doing this, all it does is start getting down to like name calling, right? It, it starts getting down to you're stupid, you're, you know, you turn back into five-year-olds. Okay, this ain't a person I'm following. This is not a person that I can get wisdom from. You understand? They don't have the experience that it takes to be able to guide me through this. Where you at? Verse five. Uh-huh. Preserve disputings of men. Perverse. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Perverse disputings of men. Right. They start getting crazy, start talking, start cussing, the, you know, trying to talk in all caps and do all this. Or, you know, you, you out in the street with them and, they, you know, somebody asks them a question and they act like they don't hear or they, you know, whatever, trying to avoid the question and things like that. These are not people that are versed in the scriptures. You understand? Come on. These are not people to follow. Go ahead. God, a men of corrupt minds. Yeah, these are people of corrupt minds. Well, what camp did you come from? Oh, I used to be with uh, what I used to PK back in the day. But when they, when, when my elders said this, I didn't want to follow them no more. I'm like, okay. So you didn't put yourself under your yoke of your master. You didn't do what the scripture says. Stay humble to that man until the most high deliver you about that situation. Or that he tell that man, hey, raise him up to this level. You send him out. You see that? Oh, you you gave up. What? What rank were you when you left? Oh, oh, I was a soldier. So how are you a general now? <laughs> Who made you a general when you left when you was a soldier? <laughs> Read on. And destitute of the truth. All right, they destitute of the truth. They done left the truth. Read. Supposing that gain is godliness. They went into supposing that gain is godliness. Why are, why are they doing it? Because I got to get this money, man. That Bible is the easiest way to make that money. Read. From such with, withdraw thyself. From those people, you're supposed to withdraw yourself. You're supposed to leave them the hell alone, man. Can't, can't follow you. My teachers, I know where they've been. I know what they do. They got videos. They've been in the streets. They did this. They did that. I ain't seen you. You'll see that? Go on. Cause I go, when I go do the little stupid uh, chats and things like that with these cats, and I'd be like, okay, well, when we we was four doors down from where Alton Sterling got killed, and when all that stuff was cracking off, we was down there in the heart of it. We didn't see y'all there. We've been to four or five Hebrew summits of elders, and I ain't never seen you amongst them. How are you an elder? When, well, I don't need to congregate with y'all. Why not? Don't the scriptures say come together on nation not desired? Aren't you my nation? You claim? You see that? Go on. We can't, I can't follow these scriptures because I'm having perverse disputings. I'm too busy caught up in my perverse disputings to congregate. I got to withdraw myself from you then. Was that it? Go on. That was the end of verse 5. Go to Ecclesiastes 15 verse 1. And again, this is a message to all y'all microwave, microwave priests out there, microwave 
of popcorn Israelites. All right, read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 15, verse 1. He that feareth the Lord will do good. Everybody there? Everybody there? Come. All right. He that feareth the Lord will do what? Will do good. He'll do good. Not talk about it. He'll do it. Read. And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. Okay. And a person that has the knowledge of the law will obtain the knowledge. They'll obtain wisdom. Y'all see that? Why are these cats walking around? They foolish. They can't apply what they talk about because they never got the knowledge of the law. They never actually studied. Why are they talking against, oh, Christ can't, Christ must have been immaculate conception. Well, do you read the law? Have you read in the law that the custom of the time was that a person got a date set and then, you know, that was when they would, they would come together at that certain date? So Joseph and Mary, before they came together, had sex. Did you know that is in the law? That ain't, that ain't in there. Well, here, go to Exodus. Well, that would mean that. Okay. Now we're striving about words. Because you don't want to break that doctrine in your brain. You don't want, your pride can't swallow that. <laughs> so we're good. Go ahead. Come. And it says, Verse 2, and as a mother shall she meet him and so receive it, him. And it's talking about wisdom. As a mother shall wisdom meet him and receive him. Go ahead. As a wife married of a virgin, uh -huh. with the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. Right. He, he shall be stayed. He shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved. And shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. See, he ain't gonna be in a situation where I don't know what to do. Your leader shouldn't be doing that. They should know exactly what to tell you. That's what experience. Seasoned veterans, that's who you go to. Read. Come. She shall exalt him above his neighbor. Uh huh. And in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. Wow, so. Wisdom will lift him up among his neighbors. But what neighbors? You anti-camp. You don't need no camp. The more you get to be a I've been through iron priest by being tried and going through a process. You understand? Go on. That's why a lot of people are clicking off now. Like, oh, that. <laughs> I thought that was the way. No, I, I don't want to hear that. Click. <laughs> to inherit. I can't figure it out. I don't see that. But brother, I gave you in different ways so that you can you are not wise and intelligent and seasoned in these scriptures. You won't see her. So these type of men, they won't see wisdom. They won't get it. They won't understand it. Read. Verse 8. For she is far from pride. See, she's a why won't they see wisdom? Because she, she's far from pride. She don't mess with people that's prideful. Mm -hmm. People that's prideful can't get wisdom because you can't tell them nothing. Right. They can't be told anything. Read. God, and men that are liars cannot remember her. There you go. Men that are liars, they can't remember her. Oh, I'm a general. Who made you a general? Well, you're a me. You a liar. You ain't no general then. Generals get made generals by the president, right? Oh. <laughs> Here, you go there, okay, how, who made you a general? The king. When I read about David, who made him a general? Saul, the king. Who made you a general? I did. I can't go with that. Where are your nation at? <laughs> are you the king of some nation? Made yourself a general in the army? Commander in chief? Like that? Read. Come verse 9. Praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner, uh -huh. for it was not sent him of the Lord. Go ahead. For praise shall be uttered in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper, prosper it. Go ahead. Say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away, for thou oughtest not to do the things that, ha that he hated. See, for y'all microwave Israelites out there, man, 
Don't say it's because of the Most High that you fell away. Oh, I don't, I don't congregate with them brothers because the Most High told me to go off and to do my own thing. Don't, blame, don't put that on the Most High, man. You left because just like it said, you're prideful. Person that have pride won't attain to wisdom, won't congregate, won't be around his brothers and sisters, won't let iron sharpen iron. He don't want government. He don't want tutors. You left because of that. You didn't leave because the Most High led you away. No, he said, listen, don't say that it was of the Most High that I fell away. He told you that. Don't say that. Where you at? Oh, verse 11. Uh-huh. Say not thou, it, it is through the Lord that I fell away. See, don't say it's of the Most High you fell away. Go ahead. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. But because you should have let go of your pride, man. You should, you should not be doing the things he hates. He loves when brothers dwell together in unity. He hates when they break the unity. When they do, when they cause contention and strife and leave. He hates quitters, man. He hates lukewarm, where I talk loud and I talk hot, but I do cold. You see that? Or I talk cold as hell in the streets, man. I can cut you up, cut you up, cut you up, but I do hot. I do the opposite. He hates that, man. He said, because you lukewarm, he'll spew you out his mouth. You finish that? Uh, verse 12, say not. No, nah, that's it on, on that. It was through verse 11. Uh, First John 14 and 8, real quick. Man, that was so First, <laughs> Go ahead, read that. First John chapter 5. 14, verse oh, 8. Sorry. Come on. First, uh, First John chapter 4. Oh no, St. John. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, St. Right. John. John 14, verse 8. Come on. St. John chapter 14, verse 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it and it suffices. Suffices us. Right. So you yeah, have John chapter 14, verse 8. You're reading that. Philip is telling Christ. Look, show us the Father, and then we'll be good. Show, show us something. Y'all see that? Now, Philip was one of the apostles. Y'all know that, right? All right, he's later on, he goes and talks to the eunuch and gets translated, taken somewhere else and all that, right? Philip, the been walking with Christ, is like, show us the Father. Okay, I done seen you turn water into wine. I done seen you feed, uh, grow people's uh, 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 melanin back, right? I done seen you uh, uh, make people make the lame walk and the sick be healed and the blind see. I done seen all this. I seen you walk on water. But now I'm talking about show me, show me God. What is these microwave little prostitutes problem, these microwave prophets problem, is that after all that time, rolling with a brother and elder, they still have not seen the most high in that brother, in that elder. They have not seen the spirit in that elder, in the teachings, in the wisdom that that man has. So they broke off. You understand? This is why it happens, why it'll happen if it's in you. When you start welling up talking about, yeah, I know this and I know that. And, no, what about, well, this scripture say this. And it's like, okay, when you start doing that, what happened to rebuke not an elder, but to treat him as a father? I thought you had a mastery of the scriptures. Why you don't know that? You know what I mean? I be talking to these sisters, they, you know, you be just talking to them regular. And then they start going off. And, no, nah, you you doing this, this, and that. Okay, well, listen, I let you talk, so. I'm going to go ahead and finish what I was saying. And, no, no, but I ain't going to let you fit in. Like, okay, well, how do you not know the scripture interrupt men, interrupt not men in the midst of their speech? But you know how to break down if there's UFOs or not. <laughs> Clearly, you got knowledge, but you don't have wisdom. You got the knowledge scriptures down. You got the doctrine scriptures down, but you don't have the wisdom scriptures down. The ones that make you look like you know what you're talking about. The ones that make you look like you live according to the word. You don't have that down. You don't know how to use them. You don't have wisdom. Where you at? Come. Uh -huh. Verse 9. Yahweh said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? Uh -huh. And yet hast thou not known me? See, 
even his day, man. These cats ain't even been around like Philip. Philip was rolling with Christ for years, right? They be in like a year, six months, talking about they breaking off a camp. I don't need no camp. Da 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 da. I'm a teacher now. You got the, I got my own YouTube page. I'm, I'm marketing myself. I'm doing this. Philip was rolling with Christ for years. He said, Philip, have you been so long time? Have I been so long time with you? And yet, has you not known me? That's the problem, man. They don't even get to the long time like Philip to where they can get. Philip was with Christ a long time and didn't know him the way he should have. You get in six, seven months, you ain't you don't know nobody. You don't know your elders. You don't know the truth. You don't know the Bible. What's that? And, and I was also said in those scriptures, he said that the words I speak are not mine. Right. <laughs> That's why he's gonna say this. Watch, yeah. read on. Come, Philip, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Right, listen. If you see me, you know what the Father looks like. You know what he would do. You know what he's doing. You see it because he's in me. Mm -hmm. I can't park the damn water. I can't walk on water because the Most High is not in me. I can't heal the sick and raise the dead by man's power. Mm -hmm. That's the Most High doing that. Mm -hmm. You've seen him. Mm -hmm. All the things you see me do is me showing you the Most High. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. And what are we dealing with with microwave prophets, man? Is cats that and disobedience. <laughs> disobedience. You have to be obedient. Yeah. And they'll never see them, and they've never seen the most high in their elders. They've yes. never seen him in the teachings. They've never exercised by using the teachings mm -hmm. to see the power of the yes. most high. And when he He's planned to say, when he planned to say, uh the scripture planned to say in the Old Testament, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. A bunch of people running around sacrificing, they're not obedient. Right, right. They so they haven't been through that. They haven't been through the obedience yes. stage under tutors, yes. under governors. Yes. Right? Yes. Then, like I said, man, these cats, they haven't seen the wisdom working. Mm -hmm. They've never exercised it. They never used it. Yes. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh, if, I, if I argue with a cat that says he don't believe in the New Testament, why? Oh, because Christ was written in there by Marcion and blah blah blah. Okay, well, I ain't got to argue history and tell you how Marcion didn't have nothing to do with no Bible and this and that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that. I can tell you this flat and plainly. I have said his name to a bunch of demons <laughs> in the form of cops. Do we agree that cops are a bunch of demons? Yeah, yeah, they the devil. Okay, well, I done said Jesus Christ watching everything y'all doing clear the whole block. What you got? <laughs> Who do you call on when you, well, I just only call on Yahweh. And, but, okay, well, how come the dude was called on Yahweh? Yahweh, how much Yahweh shy and getting beat up and drug out the car? <laughs> because he wasn't using what Yahweh, how much Yahweh shy told him to do. Come on, come on. That? See that? Yeah. He wasn't doing things okay. Yahweh shy's way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that? He was uh -huh. doing it the way of people that used to call on just Yahweh. Yahweh! Bring, uh, if I be a prophet, bring down fire from heaven and burn up this man in his 50. Those days are gone, man. You got to go through Yahweh Shai now. <laughs> right. That's you see right. that? That's right. <laughs> so you keep doing that and you get drunk out the car, beat up. But when I say Jesus Christ watching everything y'all doing, even though they ain't speaking Hebrew, they know what I'm talking about. Yes. They all shut the hell up. Yeah, right. right. If I apply the scriptures and I don't. Yeah. Start yelling, Yehovah, show them how much Yahweh shy, so I sound like a barbarian to them. Yes. And I say yes. in their language, in their tongue, and speak yes. the language they speak. Y'all, yes. Jesus Christ watching everything y'all doing. That's done. But you tell me he didn't even exist. You telling me some white man wrote him in there, and all I gotta do is say his name, and other white men will bow down. I couldn't say George Washington on that block, and all of a sudden they'd be like, oh. Talk about George Washington. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, he said in the name of George Washington. Let this dude go. Y'all see that? Shoot, you can't even say Constitution of the United States without getting a knot upside your head. <laughs> but I say Jesus Christ and boom, they go. So you can't tell me 
because of my experience. You see that? You arguing against something that you don't know. Why? Because you have no experience. You never tried it, but you talk it. That's why I don't mess with Facebook Israelites. A lot of times they be like, uh, you know, I, I do a post and they start wanting to debate. I'm like, I'm not a debater. I'm a teacher. <laughs> Here's a school address. You can come learn. If you got something against it, we talk, but I don't debate. You don't see us on no talk shows. You don't see us doing none of that. Why? Because it ain't our thing. The little times I do get into it on Facebook, I always regret it, but I learned a little something. <laughs> Stop talking to people that you ain't never seen in the streets. Ain't never helped you with gas money. Ain't never gave you a ride nowhere. Ain't you ain't never seen them help clothe you, feed you, do anything Christ ordered them to do. Don't the truth as long as Philip had rolled. And, and they still talk about we we know something. No, you don't know nothing. Philip didn't even know. And Christ was doing the miracles right in front of him. You got a long way to go, young brothers, young sisters. Uh, go from there. Please ask us uh, 9 verse 8. Or 8 verse 8. No, we did that one. Uh, please ask us 6 verse 18 through 20. Uh-huh. Please ask us chapter 6. Gather instruction from thy youth up. So Those what? Gather up. When you're that instruction from the time you're that child upward. Don't stop. Y'all see that? Right. What is these cats' problem? They stop getting instruction. Oh, I broke away from my elder because he was tripping. How you know he was tripping? You never got to his level. You never got to the wisdom and knowledge that that man had. You never been through the experiences that that man been through. So I okay. Well, uh, have you ever been on the block and the cops came and started beating up brothers and everything like that? And then and then uh, you know y'all had to get out by the wisdom of the most high and, and run away. No. Okay. Then you never been to the level of your elders. Why are you talking against them? They've lived through things. <laughs> you ain't been nowhere, huh? Right. Mm -hmm. Read. So shalt thou find wisdom to thy old age. See, that's how you're going to find wisdom all the way up in your old age, man. Go ahead. Come unto her as one that plowed and sowed and wait for her good fruits. See, wait. Come unto wisdom as one that plowed and sowed and then wait for her good fruits. That takes time. You understand? Right. It takes time to get to that level. It takes time to, to for the wisdom to germinate in you. You don't get to just niggas want to be uh, uh, want to be teachers and prophets before uh, before they be even planted a damn chia seed and watch it grow. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the time it takes to grow a chia pet, you making yourself a prophet. Like damn man, you really think wisdom got in you and grew into a tree? So that you could be like the tree that was planted by the waters. You think that got in you overnight? <coughs> it don't happen like that. <coughs> That's why he keeps equating everything to seeds and plant life. Because just as much time as it takes a plant to grow, a vine to grow, grapes to grow on the vine, is how long it's going to take for you to be able to understand even a part of the truth. You understand? God. And y'all definitely shouldn't be following nobody that's talking like that. Because they need time. Read. For, for thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her. What verse you at? Verse 19. Uh-huh. But thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. Verse 20. She is very she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. See that? She's very wisdom is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Why? Because he done cast it away. In his pride, he left it alone. Y'all see that? Okay. They don't want to mess with wisdom. That means I have to apply what I'm talking about. That means I gotta. I can't just read the book and magically become a, a, a Zen master. I can't just read it and look at it or look at my closed Bible and not study and then get to boss people around. No. People ain't going to follow you when you don't have any experience. You understand? Go. 
Case in point, I mean, you know back this far, Vietnam War, right? What is fragging? You know that term? Fragging was the act that when these young cats would go from uh, college yeah, and they yeah. become officers going through the college way, and then they'd go over there into into the into the bush with the seasoned sergeant and uh, and all his troops, and they done he done took eight bullets and pulled them out himself and with his own teeth and everything like that, and they watched him go through it with them, and he tells them where to go and what to do, and he's been doing it all this time, but then you got this. You got this young officer that just got out of college, and he got his stripes, and he's like, yeah, okay, they dropped me in the middle of the jungle with these guys. I'm boss now. We're going to storm that ridge over there. <laughs> right? Yeah. The niggas look at him like, no, the hell we're not. We already been at that ridge over there. Sarge just pulled eight bullets out of his ass with his own teeth. He told us we going that way. That's the way we going. Right? And they sit over there, no, nah, we got to go. You're going to obey orders, soldier? You're going to do this? Next thing so you know, you find that nigga, oh, well, what happened to officer so-and-so? Charlie got him. That's funny because uh, these are American bullets in his ass. <laughs> right? Uh, we didn't know Charlie knew how to make nooses and write die American in English. <laughs> It looked like y'all killed him. That was what fragging was, man. They would they would take these officers that was coming over there acting like they knew everything, and they just kill them right on the spot. They kill them themselves before they got the whole unit killed. Yeah. Y'all see that? Yeah. That's what happened, man. People don't respect you if you ain't been through nothing. They don't respect that. They they gonna respect you talking about faith, loyalty, obedience, and you ain't never exercised faith, loyalty, and obedience. It ain't gonna happen. That's stupid. You understand? Be under the tutors. Learn how to do it yourself. Exercise the knowledge. Use it until it becomes wisdom. And then get in the position to teach. You understand? Don't try to be a microwave Israelite, man. It's not. It's, it's pointless. If you don't know, don't jump into that arena. It's pointless. Learn first. Learn of your elders. Wear the footsteps of your door. That way, they can they can entrust you. The spirit can entrust you and say, "Okay, he's been picking up this wisdom. He's making it a part of himself. She's she's been around the sisters. She's been she's been coming to the meetings and been talking to them and seeing how they roll." Okay, let's let's elevate her a little bit. Let's let's put him at this level now. You see that? And yes, it's going to happen through men. But you, if you trust in the Most High, you know those men. Ain't going to put you in no situation you can't get out of. And you know that the Most High is going to elevate you through those men. They gonna, he's going to see what you do. Right? All right. I know we took a, took a little while. Cats falling asleep on me. It's hump day. There was a few more, man, but uh, it's, it's 15 past. So uh, for y'all that joined us online, we appreciate y'all. You know, the ones that actually showed your showed your soldierhood by uh, by staying on there, even when you heard that, hey, I don't get to be a general just because I listen to Bao Wom on YouTube. Uh, you know, you stuck through that and you say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and be patient and I'm going to go through the method. So we appreciate y'all uh, joining us on that and staying with us the whole time. What's that? Um, I have a question. Huh? Why do people have to front for other people? Yeah, like they feel like they have to make it so that they're better or like they let me go and buy stuff and basically show that I'm living this way, but I'm not. <laughs> There's so many different ways to answer that. Um. <laughs> I'm saying this because I have a manager at my job and he got two kids. You hourly. You're probably, you probably been there for me. Well, let's say you've been there more years than I have, but you went from salary to hourly. So you're making a little bit more than I am, but you still, you still hourly. Right. I have no kids, but you got kids and you can say that, oh yeah, I can get a new car when I want to. No, that's not true. I can trade this one in and get a new one or, oh yeah, I just bought the new Jordans or it's like, you don't have to front for me. Like, that's not I'm just saying that's just an example, but it's other, you know, there's there's people in the world that actually do that. 
No, no, I, I got you. That's t- this is a lot of a lot of ignorance our people dwell in. Uh, and the thing is, is it's it's kind of right up there with uh, Ecclesiastes twenty three and nineteen, where it says, "Such a man only feareth the eyes of men." You see that? It's a man please. He want to be seen of men for having all these things. It's what you call a hypocrite. What we've been going over this whole time too is that's what this makes you after you've been after you've been dealing this way and and rejecting the knowledge people start seeing you for what you are oh you don't do what you talk about you're a hypocrite you say you have faith but you don't you're a hypocrite you're a liar you see that same thing our people are like that they fear the eyes of men instead of the most high so yeah you know i'm I'm, I'm front because i think People are going to hold me in this high esteem, right? Uh, another scripture tells you uh, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. It's in uh, is it Jude. Yeah, verse 16. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's person in admiration because of advantage. So they 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 want to front in front of people so that people can see them and look them look at them like they're some king or something like that. They think that's what happens. For people to know better, that's the one that Bring them back into reality. They burst a little bubble. You know? No, you don't. You can't afford that. What you talking about? You ain't got no. What you talking about? You got a Hummer with some blades on it. You pulled up in a damn uh, uh, Toyota. Uh, Toyota, what's that thing? Uh, you know, we got a damn label on it. <laughs> All I say is Toyota. I don't even know if that's a real Toyota. I ain't never seen a Toyota shape like that. <laughs> Did you grab a Geo and slap a Toyota label on it? <laughs> They got men's persons in admiration because of the man. They, they wanna, they wanna be seen of men. They wanna be admired by men. That's right. You understand? Know and these are the type of people that he said keep yourselves from them. Man. Keep yourselves away from them. But people do it. It's a, it's a mental illness. But yeah, I got a front around people that That's right. don't even matter. That's what was always funny to me. I'm like, cats will walk around through school like, yeah, I got the new J's, I got the new J's, or I got this, I got that. you like, what can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, you got it. I don't have any gold medals that I'm supposed to hand out to people that like you. You made it. I hope somebody gets you your reward. You understand? That's what he would talk about with the Pharisees all the time. He said, listen, they have their reward. You understand? They do that to be seen of men. They have the reward. Everybody's seen them. But then men can't do nothing but see them. There ain't no reward after that. You see that? You got to be living it. You got to be actually about what comes out of your mouth. But yeah, that's a hypocrite, basically. Any scripture you can think of that has the word hypocrite in it, that fits that person. Because that's what it leads to. Is They're not just trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're, they're trying to act like they are the Joneses. And they're not. They're a liar and a hypocrite. It's that simple. <coughs> and what can you do for them? <laughs> Talk to them privately. Matthew's 18, 15. Talk to them one on one. Hey, you keep saying you got all this stuff. You're going to get yourself in a situation, man. Niggas are going to pop out the woodwork, start asking you for money. And the truth's going to come out. You ain't got it. <laughs> You know what I mean? That word's gonna get around. You gonna end up getting uh, it's Houston, man. That word get around. You got all this and got all that. Niggas be at your house. Follow you home. And on that, the people come in and report right in front of everybody. Right? <laughs> yeah, they don't go around talking about what we got, what I got, what I did. You know what I mean? Hey, the most high blessed me. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how, I ain't gonna tell you with what. Nah. You be at my house talking about, hey, let me get that. <laughs> Y'all see that? 
So, you know, that's the thing is, you know, these are cats that they, they got from. They got people, they want people to notice them. Was that it? sold a little uh, alligator on his shirt or the polo guy on his shirt. You know what I mean? Oh, that's it again with the, with the fake. Punch him in the face, right? Why? Because it, they had the front because they didn't want people to know how broke they were. You know what I mean? My, it, it hurts my pride. I don't like living in this condition. I don't like being reminded of being in this condition. So I'm going to act like I'm from a different condition so other people will treat me like I'm from that area. I want them to treat me like the rich. I want them to, to see me and be like, yeah, that guy. You know what I mean? I don't want them to treat me like a broke nigga. Nobody respects a broke nigga. Nobody, nobody cares about what the poor say. When you read in Ecclesiastes, it tells you about the, the, the wisdom of the poor. It, nobody listens. You understand? People just want attention, man. That's all he is. He's a, I'm an attention grabber. I haven't put away childish things like craving attention. He's a feminine. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, but uh for the all that joined us online, we appreciate that. Again, for the ones that stayed, uh we definitely appreciate that and uh we were sorry for the te technical difficulties. Uh they were supposed to have that taken care of by now, but uh, I'm gonna give them a call tomorrow morning. So uh, we should be live and live at five to, uh, uh, by Friday. All right, join us six to nine p.m. Friday, uh, same uh, same location. All right, but with that we're gonna say shalom. shalom.